what's up everybody how's everybody doing today who do we got who do we got welcome to the stream how's everybody doing hope you guys are having a fantastic day you know what i mean do you know what i mean let's 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 up the brightness real quick hold on what's up island girl just trying to make it she's an island girl all right uh kathy lara started following before the stream started so that one doesn't count Shay Lewis, Vichy E, Meat Face is third, audio doubled. It shouldn't be now. We should be Gucci now. Uh, Robin Luker, welcome to the stream. Randy Dresden, um, how are you? How are you guys doing today? How's everybody doing? We've been. Uh, let me get that out of the way. I don't really like that. I need to. F I need to figure something else out for my mic. I need to have it like here. Like boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? What's up, Travel Diva? How are you? Uh, guys, 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 I, um, recently finished this and nobody has said anything. Nobody has been like, wow, Nate, that looks incredible. So, whatever, I guess. Whatever, I guess. All right, let's try, let me, let me try something real quick. What's up, Sheila B? Welcome to the stream. Uh-oh, there we go. Since nobody wants to comment on it, now it's out of focus. That's what you guys get. You organized. I did. I did. That's what you guys get. Since it's, nobody's like, wow, Nate, you're the best person I've ever known in my life. <laughs> now nobody gets to see it. I actually I actually was trying to set up the uh, OBSBOT camera back there so I could like show you guys a little bit closer to like what's going on over there. There's another printer right there. Uh, right there. Right, right, right there. You just can't see it. You just can't see it. Uh, but don't forget every 10 followers on the stream, guys. You guys know what we do around here. We do uh, a gift card giveaway every 10 followers. Uh, make sure you guys go get signed up. Currently, we're sitting at zero followers for this stream. A whole, a whopping zero. A whopping zero. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. And let's get started. We do have products that we're going to be showing on hand today. Uh, we do have some videos and stuff like that. Uh, Robin, I'm doing good. Bills won this weekend, so I mean that's a good weekend. It was a little bit, uh, it was a little bit nerve wracking, if I'm being honest. We almost lost to Miami. Oh, uh, we're gonna be. That's that's the thing. What I'm saying about like Buffalo is we're gonna be in for a rude awakening. Your background is like what you see without glasses. So I actually see just fine without glasses. These are mainly just to protect my eyes. Like these don't actually help me see very much at all. Uh, I have like, I'm legally blind in my left eye. So these really don't do any, anything. They don't. I just wear these to help protect my good eye. Because if my good eye goes bad, I'm out of luck. Uh, but you guys let me know. If, if you wear glasses, is this actually what it, is this what it looks like without glasses? Like, is this, I've always wondered what people that have, like, have to wear glasses to see. This is what it looks like. Oh, hey, look who it is. Hi, Nate. Thanks for blessing us with your presence. <laughs> you're, I guess you're welcome. Yeah, these don't do anything for my eyesight. I see just fine without them. Uh, it looks like I got some dog hair. I have a solution for that. But before we talk about that solution, I need to tell you guys about something. Have you guys ever used a head scratcher like this? Like one of these ones right here? Dude, I'm telling you, forget all of the massagers and stuff that I've ever told you guys. This just is, this is the best. I could, I could just go to sleep. Is that the spider from Minority Report? I'm, tell I'm, I'm telling you guys, this right here, like these things, 100% without a doubt, these are the best things ever invented. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. We'll take a look at the first product while we're looking at the first product, which is the Govi RGB IC Neon Rope Lights. So these are $120. What's up, cool shopper? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Uh, $40 off on these. Um... So 80 bucks for 16.4 feet of rope lights. But these ones you can like curve into shapes and stuff. Uh, they also have the diffuser kind of like, you know, these guys right here. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. 
little bit of a late start on the day today, so I'm uh, feeling sorry. I'm feeling a little bit sorry for myself. I got a late start. Didn't get too. I didn't get too much done before now, basically. So uh, I I don't like that. We gotta switch these to blue. I don't like that when it looks like that. Oh, signing up for the form. I have all touch screens and use my finger. Folks, use your finger. What? You guys don't forget to use your finger. <laughs> That's what. Finish that. Uh, give me one second, guys. Let, let's go with. We might. We we might end up needing to find a new color scheme in here. We might. I don't know yet. Hope everyone is well. I just got back last night from out of town. My mom is having health problems. Going back again on Thursday. Hey, Ma Island girl. I'm really sorry about that. Um, yeah, that's, that's tough. That, that is, that, that's super tough. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in. And like I said, we're going to take a look at these Govi RGB IC rope lights. I think these are the ones that James did. Are these the ones where he like plays the music and stuff like that? I think they might be. Let me get my OBS bot set up too, real quick. They are. Check these out. Check these out. Oh, you guys can't hear that. There we go. Somebody, Somebody messed with, with my stream. stream. And I don't, I don't know, know why, why I blame Awesome Mom. Echo, 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 echo. Yeah, there's something weird going on with like all of my settings and stuff right now. I'm not really sure what it is. Should be gone now though. Let's go to studio mode. Let me switch over to my overhead camera real quick. Oh my gosh, you can't see anything there, guys. You can't see anything. So let's fix that real quick. So this is what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to find a USB-C cable. We are trying to find a USB-C cable that is USB-A on one end and USB-C on the other. But here's the issue with that. What's up, Evans? Welcome. How are you doing today? How was your weekend? Here's the issue with a USB-C cable um, with USB-A that I'm having. Apparently not all USB cables are created the same. So like I have multiple USB-C cables. I've noticed that some of the cables will charge, but some of the cables will only charge. Some of them will not like also carry your uh, video data. So I don't know, this is a flat cable right here. Not all USB-C cables are made the same and it's slightly upsetting. This one seems like it's a little bit thicker, so it might. I don't know though. I don't know though. Darren, how how are you doing today? Where's PC Phil when I need PC Phil? I gotta talk to him about his giants. Cause what's that about? What's up with the giants, Darren? 
that's something we got to figure out because I don't know. How are the Giants beating the how, – how did the Giants beat the Vikings? Well, I can say that. How did Skylar Thompson almost – how did Skylar Thompson almost beat Buffalo? That's something we got to figure out. You guys, don't forget. Nick Delling, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today, my friend? Giants are a big mystery. My thing is, is, Dan, is, is Danny Dimes that guy to lead them to a Super Bowl? I feel like I already know who's going to win the Super Bowl this year. I feel like I know who's going to win the Super Bowl. And if everyone is being honest with themselves, the team most likely to win the Super Bowl because their offensive defense, their offense and defense are just in the 49ers. Costi, welcome to the stream. Uh, Nick Delling. Uh, yeah, I hope you're... Well, that's good that you're doing well. Let me know what kind of uh, products you're interested in and stuff like that. I said this. I already said this. If we play that way against... If Buffalo plays that way against Cincinnati, they're going to lose. A much more well-equipped team. Much less the Kansas City Chiefs. Or if we go to the Super Bowl, if somehow we make it through the AFC and make it to the Super Bowl and we meet a team like San Francisco, we're getting destroyed. We're getting destroyed if we meet a team like San Francisco. We can't we can't compete with that. We just cannot. Um, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna go over there and switch out these cables real quick. And I'm gonna see I'm gonna switch out these cables while I'm playing the next uh product, which is the Polonis Ceramic Fifth Oh, that's a lot. Fifteen hundred watt tower heater for eighty bucks. Two new, eight to go. So uh Nick Delling, so the the follower that was at the beginning of the stream doesn't count because we were offline. We try to keep them only the ones that happened during the stream. You like more PC driven tech stuff? Anything for dual PC setup related products? Hmm. What do you mean dual PC? Like you're running two different, like you have two different setups and you're wanting to. I actually did. I, I took a look at a USB switch the other day. Is it not live on Twitch? Gaming PC, streaming PC? Let me go through and I'll see what we got in the carousel. I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. Um, I don't know if you if you stream or anything, but this camera that we're using right here is crazy. All right, so let me go ahead and jump in. I'm going to play this video for you guys real quick, and then we will uh, come back. I'm just going to go plug in this, this USB-C cable um, to see if I can get it to... play the actual camera feed, sorry. Uh, we got awesome mom in the chat. Ooh. <laughs> all right um so that's pretty much all you guys need to see on that 80 dollars for a 1500 watt space heater is pretty crazy uh-oh 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 oh uh reggie -oh. there we go oh whoa 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 See, it doesn't even work over here either. Doesn't even work over here either. <gasps> Hold up. Hold up. I have a fix. I have a fix. I have a fix. 
No, I don't. I lied to you. It got even worse. It got worse. Hold on. All right, here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Dang, I'm good. That's what she said. Um, so yeah, 80 bucks for a 1500 watt space heater is not bad. Let me see. No coupons on it, but it's got an eight hour timer tip over switch. And uh, 1500 watts is a lot for $80. You the man. This is why I love, this is why I love the dual PC for streaming. Ha ha ha. How long has Amazon had this Amazon live service? I just found it today. Uh, they've had it for a while, actually. They really have. How did you do that? What do you mean? I'm just, I'm a, I'm about that life. That's how I did this. I'm about that life. Uh, Amazon live streaming has been around for, I don't know, some of the people in the chat right now have been watching for two and a half, three years almost. I didn't know about it either up until a little under a year ago. No, about a a little over a year ago, I found out about it. I've been doing this full time uh, for, uh, let's see, May from last May to now, basically, I've been doing this full time. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like doing this. Uh, it's wild. It's wild. Uh, we do a lot of giveaways too. A lot of people on Amazon just do a lot of giveaways though. You'll notice that. That's one of like the big things too. Let's fix this camera real quick because this looks rough. No, what what why does it look so rough? What's going on with that? You've been on streams about a year now. Oh, so just streams in general, not necessarily um not necessarily like my stream, but just streams in general. Is that what you mean? Uh, so I, I'm using, oh, I'm using OBS. Yeah, I am using OBS is what I'm using. I mean, you can use stream labs or, you know, really whatever you want. Now you can't just go live on Amazon though. You have to be like accepted into like their program and all of this crazy stuff. Uh, let's switch over to the next product real quick. Um, and I'm kind of out of the loop right now for some reason. You guys don't make fun of my dirty desk. Don't make fun of me. Okay. I also, like, what happened since, like, what happened? Like, it used to be so much brighter. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. Is that why? No, that's not why. You think honeys were your first? Yeah, they, they just got to 2,000 followers, or 2,000, um, yeah, 2,000 followers not too long ago, too, didn't they? Open run pro. I'm gonna assume it's gonna be these ones. No. Nope. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, friends. Somebody has stolen. There they are. All right, here we go. We're good. OMG, look how filthy that desk is. I don't know, like this is, I've had this desk mat for a lot. Now there's not like dirt and stuff on this. It's like, it's starting to find, like, I say finally like I wanted it to, but it's it's starting to tear up. You guys, these are the Shox Open Run Pros. You guys know what these are about. The best bone conduction headphones ever to exist, ever, ever, ever. Check these out. Boom, boom. What's up, Jennifer B? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? All right, so you got the carrying case with them. Now, I know you guys know what uh, shocks are. I know you guys know what shocks are. These are bone conduction headphones. These are the top of the line whenever it comes to their uh, just standard style bone conduction headphones. Uh, to those of you guys that might not know what bone conduction headphones are, you have an old pair of those. Is it? Do you know if it's by Shocks, the brand Shocks right here? It might be by the brand Aftershocks, which is the same one. 
Uh, you might have like the Aeropex or something. So check these out. If you guys aren't familiar with bone conduction headphones, they don't have speakers built into them. They give you your audio, music, podcast, whatever it is you're listening to, 50 Shades of Grey audiobook. Um, by conducting the sound through vibrations, which your brain interprets as the sound. I mean, that's all, that's all sound really is anyways. It's just vibrations. Uh, these don't have speakers built into them. They're using bone conduction technology. I mean, it doesn't, it's the, the description is in the title. How the science works, I don't know. I'm not going to know. Um, I know because I want a pair of open moves when you hosted the stream and I love them. I will be live on, I will, I will be streaming for shocks tomorrow, by the way. We did EcoFlow on Sunday, if you guys aren't, if you guys don't remember. We did EcoFlow on Sunday. Uh, tomorrow is shocks. Uh, again, we will be giving away a pair of the open move. So you guys definitely don't want to miss out on that. So follow here so I can give you guys updates. So I can give you guys updates. But yeah, um, the biggest benefit for me on bone conduction headphones is that I hear everything going on around me. So I have a kid. Um, basically, like if, if I'm listening to these with like standard in-ear headphones or listening to music, it's obstructing the sound going on around me. So I'm unable to hear what's going on. Obviously, you don't want that to happen. Um, mine are Aftershocks. Same brand. They just rebranded to Just Shocks. And you might have the Aeropex. And you might have the Aeropex. Um, but yeah, if you guys want a good way to listen to your music while still being able to hear everything going on around you, these are. they also have a... This is crazy for me. They have a two-year warranty. Two years. And the only reason I always emphasize two years is because audio and really tech in general is always evolving. So the fact that in an ever evolving realm of tech products that Aftershocks is willing to stand behind a product for two entire years is crazy to me. They know that these are going to last and yeah, I mean, they're the best. They really are the best. So yeah, you guys, make sure you guys are hitting that follow button. We need, uh, Evans, I think we, we, we got one follower this stream. Uh, two year warranty on these. I can't, I can't figure out why my, why this setup is so dark today. I have no idea. doesn't make any sense. Two year warranty, shocks turbo pitch technology on these. You've got 10 hour battery life, IP55 water resistant. So if it starts raining or something like that. Um, you're going to be fine. So definitely check out the after. Or See, now you got me saying it, Nick. Now you got me saying it. I'm surprised they've been able to keep these style of earphones selling with all the new technology with earbuds and audiophile headphones. Good to see this is still a thing. Yeah, because they fit a market. For me, they fit a very specific niche, and that's active people, people that are very active. Like if, if, if you go on runs or something, um, if you go on runs or, you know, bike rides, they even make some that are completely waterproof so you can – so you can swim. They they do all of this stuff in a really cool way because you're still able to hear everything going on, on around you. Now, I haven't ran in a long time, but I used to run every single day for miles. And I would listen to music in ear with in-ear headphones. Had I have known about these back in the day, I would have been using those. Because there's so many situations where I wanted to be able to hear what's going on around me. Maybe, maybe another like, you know, somebody that's running or somebody that's on a bike or if I'm crossing the road where I couldn't hear what was going on around me and I should have been able to. Um, I'm an audio nerd. I have too many DACs and amps, mixer interfaces. You love audio. I have a few different audio interfaces. Right now I'm using this. Uh, it doesn't sound that good. I haven't played with it too much. I'm using this dynamic microphone. Uh, it's the Beacon mic. It's a USB-C dynamic microphone uh so yeah i'm a pretty big audio guy now you were saying that you you know you like pc stuff which is i mean that's that's what i do you like pc stuff i don't know what kind of keyboards you're into this is this is my favorite keyboard i know a lot of people will get like you know baseline they'll switch out the switches um they'll do all that stuff but for baseline keyboards that you know just plug and play the hyper x alloy elite 2 has got to be my favorite keyboard this has got to be my favorite keyboard. Uh, love the, first of all, the built-in Logitech G series. Yeah, a lot of people really like that. I love the built-in lighting effects. It's got, you know, HyperX's red linear switches. Let me turn off the lights. 
Um, this is my favorite keyboard I've used plug and play. I haven't, I'm, I'm going to be honest and I'm surprised I haven't, I haven't gotten to the point where I will build like a, build my own like 60% or something, switch out the, you know, change the switches and all of that good stuff. I haven't done any of that. You only love, you love only full size keyboards. Do they have it in 10 keyless? Ooh, I don't think they have this one 10 keyless. Let me, let me check for you real quick. They have one with HyperX Alloy Elite, Elite 10, uh, Alloy Elite 2, I'll just search that up. Okay, so they, they do. They do have it. It is the HyperX Alloy Origins Core. This is... It's the HyperX Alloy Origins Core. So that's the 10 keyless version of this. The, it still has the, so the reason I like this is how long it's lasted. Uh, the linear switches are more clicky than um, some others I've seen from other brands. Um, they're not super clicky, um, but I, I, I've, I've had zero issues with ghosting on it. Uh, the aluminum frame is what makes this stand out. And then the built-in lighting effects, like I said, I mean, HyperX is RGB. They just do it, in my opinion, they do it better. Do you or, or your mods have the ability to post links in chat? I can type it in just, yeah, I can, I can do that. I can do that. Here we go. Check this out right here. There's a link to the 10 keyless. Big fan of this keyboard. Um, now, I don't think it's, it's not in the carousel. We usually do Friday streams. We do hobby streams where, um, you know, well, we, we also open a lot of Pokemon. Yeah, you, you, yeah, no problem. We open Pokemon a lot on the stream too. Like we're, my stream specifically, so Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, we're a big, um, we're a group of streamers. Um, we're a team basically. So like I cover a lot of, as you can see right back there, I do a lot of 3D printing stuff. Uh, we open Pokemon cards on Fridays on my stream, give away packs to people, uh, you know, open them live and all that good stuff. Um, projectors are kind of my specialty too. Um, Evan says, Nate, what I got, Nate, guess what I got yesterday? The anchor motion boom plus. Oh yes. I forgot you won. I'm not going to lie. Now, what was that song you said I need to listen to? It's the same song that we've listened to a thousand times on my stream. Reading by the fire. A S T R O trivia. This is true. This is true. Um, so the name of the song is mm, Nefix As You Fade Away. I'm saying crank it up too. I mean, like make it loud. Make it loud. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this beautiful. The Oh, whoa, guys. Hold on. This is the cheapest I've seen the Cosmos Laser 4K. It's still, I mean, $1,700. It's still $1,700, but I've told... You guys know this is the best of the best whenever it comes to projectors. The Cosmos Laser 4K today is $1,700. That's the cheapest. I have a friend who rips and ships Pokemon on TikTok. A few of them just got partnered. So yeah, I'll have to share the link to your Pokemon stuff. Where do you stream that at? Here. On my Friday streams, we... On Friday... So I stream every day, Monday through Friday. Um, with the exception of, you know, if something's going on. Uh, at 1230 Central... On, on my Friday streams, we do hobby streams where we cover, um, you know, gaming. We'll play the, the MetaQuest 2. Um, we'll do, you know, talk about gaming keyboards, microphones, Pokemon, hobby, 3D printers. Um, so Fridays are when we do that. Uh, let's go ahead and jump in. Like I said, guys, this is the cheapest I've seen this projector ever. $1,700. Now, like I said, that's a lot of money. I'm not going to lie to you guys. You guys know that's a lot of money. But... It's the best projector I've ever tested, and it's not even close. Nothing's close. I've tested projectors $600 more than this without the sale, and they're not as good. So I'm just going to skip through in this video that I filmed for this, and I'm going to show you guys the quality of this. I've told you guys this before. Try to picture or try to forget that you know this is a projector. Forget that you know it's a projector for a second. You'll just think it's a TV, just a huge TV. That's how good this looks. 
You wish that Govi bundle was cheaper. $169.99. It has a uh, $80 off clickable coupon. So if you if you wish that bundle was cheaper, it is. So when you go to the when you click on it in the carousel and you go look at it, it's $170, but it's $80 off right now uh, with the coupon that you can just click on, and that'll bring it down to $90 or $89.99. Evans, you better have cranked it up. I'm telling you, you better have cranked that up. Turned it up all the way. Because if not, I'm upset with you. Check this out. Tell me that doesn't look like just a huge TV. You can't tell me that looks like a projector. You can't tell me that. If you do try to tell me that, I'm going to call you a liar. And also at 2100 ANSI lumens, this is going to look great even in the daytime. And at night, look how much it lights up my living room. You guys can see everything inside of my living room. Don't make fun of it. It's dirty, I know. So this I'm is great. It, it even has a game mode built in. Oh, they definitely do. 100% Evans, you're getting a noise complaint. Uh, they definitely hear it. Why does it have the laser name in it? So laser is a different type. A laser projector is different from a DLP projector. Uh, lasers, laser projectors are brighter. Uh, they travel further. They um, maintain color better. Uh, they maintain accuracy better. Um, so a laser projector compared to a DLP projector is always 50, no, 90% of the time it's going to look better. I mean, you can get DLP projectors that are super expensive that look good, but in general, laser projectors are going to look better than DLP. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're getting a noise complaint called on you, Evans. Did you get to the part in the song where it's like, I think I need help. I'm going through hell. That I don't know why. It's so 2005, My Chemical Romance, I Hate Everything vibes, but it's the best. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the Govi DreamView G1 Pro gaming lights. I didn't cover these, otherwise I would just show you guys them live. You guys know I have a ton of Govi lights around. I mean, I have the string lights, I got the the glide, I got the uh, floodlights. It is so good. If that is an emo, I don't know what it is. I don't know, exactly, exactly. It is emo. I think I need help. I'm going through hell. I hate my dad, if you even couldn't tell. Um, so Nick, here's the here's a video that one of our team members made for the G1 Pro gaming lights. But it is a very good song. Are you talking about that Netflix As You Fade Away song? I don't know why. If that's what you're talking about, I don't know why. It's so good. But if you're talking about My Chemical Romance, we gotta be honest. We gotta be honest. <laughs> uh, My Chemical Romance is the they are so good like you can't nobody can listen to a song like Welcome to the Black Parade or Famous Last Words or um, Helena and sit and not get absolutely hyped you can't it's impossible it's a known fact actually this, guys this is the Govi Dream Controller this so I don't why even think he gets just, these set up. I don't think he sets these up in this video, unfortunately. Yeah, see, I, it's like this, guys. It will sit on your monitor like it's it's it, it, it's not necessarily pointless to play the video, but you guys want to see what the the lights look like. So showing you this, just everything that comes with it, is kind of pointless. But I will um kind of tell you guys what this can do. The Netflix, as in, it's not Netflix. So how did, wait, what? Twitch is not live yet. I don't know. I can't, I don't know why Twitch didn't go live. That's kind of weird. You have a lot of Govi lights. The new M1 chip are incredible. Wait, they have new chips built into the Govi lights. So like, I know, I know like my, my new iPad Air back there that has, can you only show videos from the Amazon video list? I guess it just depends. Um, 
So what I'm doing is I just have a browser source set up in OBS. We have all of these videos uploaded to the product pages of the product that is like that we're talking about at the current time. And um, then what I do is I just paste a link of that video and play it for you guys. Nefex, Nefex, Nefex. Is that how you say that? I don't know. So these Govi lights that are highlighted in the carousel right now, what they're gonna do is they're going to read the colors of your screen with a camera and push the, the colors it's reading behind your monitor or TV. I'm telling you guys, it's the any effects. Any effects? Okay, I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, $170 down to 80 bucks. Down to, no, 90 bucks, sorry. Uh, the next product is one that I covered. Uh, it's the H30 Venture Cordless Vacuum. Uh, one of my favorite handheld vacuums. There's only one that I like more than this, and it's the step up that <laughs> that Anchor makes, or Eufy makes. But I'll go ahead and show you guys the Venture. I'm going to skip through in the video and just show you guys the part where it's actually cleaning so you can see how much power this has. Uh, Candy GGG, which I haven't seen her in a while. Uh, Candy GGG in the, in the stream won this from me, actually. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this HomeVac H30 Venture by Eufy. And so as you guys can see right here, there's not a lot to the H30 off. So right now we are assault against my better judgment. Just Thank don't you. tell my wife. So what we'll do now is we'll use the wide mouth head that I'm showing you guys right here. To attach them, all you have to do is simply slide them off. And if you want to remove them, they just pop right off. So right now we are on eco mode and we'll kind of go over this slow just to see how good of a job this does while using the eco mode suction strength. And you guys can see it does leave a little bit behind, but with a couple passes, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Now we are on the max mode right here. And this definitely does do a lot better of a job at getting everything up. But just keep in mind that this is going to kill the battery on it a little bit quicker. We'll go ahead and speed all of this hey, up. Hey Nick, I appreciate you stopping by though. Thank you so much. Just so you guys can kind of see this going through the paces of cleaning everything. It really surprised me how well this worked and how good of a job it did getting everything up. And you guys can see right in there, it even got some stuff that I wasn't even aware was on the couch. Then we'll go ahead and do the top of this. Uh, you guys can see right here, it, it's got enough suction strength where it gives you those nice like carpet lines or those cleaning lines. Again, we'll go ahead and speed this one up. One of the things that I wanted to talk about is just how impressed I was with the h30 venture it so does such a good job say, but it's like, such a small form factor a vacuum is good and i don't know why is if it leaves carpet lines you know what i mean if it leaves those carpet lines whether you're doing it you know on the carpet or you're using and that's what she said or you're using it on you know furniture if it leaves if it leaves those carpet lines i can't i can't do this stream today not with vicky in the chat <laughs> Hey, how's your husband uh, recovering? So normally that is, it's actually on sale today. It's $160 down to $110, $109. Uh, so you guys can definitely pick that up. We got the Airmate electric space heater. You guys have seen this before. Uh, again, they make, there's a lot of space heaters out there that they, they try to do the whole, you know, fake fire, you know, or realistic looking fire. None of them come as close as this fireplace heater. So it's $190. Is there a coupon though? No coupons today, but this is the lowest base price it's been in 30 days, according to Amazon. <laughs> uh, you guys don't forget, if you're new here, hit that follow button. Every 10 followers on this stream, we do an Amazon gift card giveaway. I think we still need nine more followers this stream, but if you're new here, make sure you guys are hitting that follow button if you want a chance to win a gift card. Yo, what's going on? Uh, he is in a lot of pain, but his incision looks great. He has a substantial amount of bruising that hurts, so I'm regulating his meds timely. He has been trying to stream, enough said. Last night we were playing, and I was like, this is your brain, and this is your brain on drugs. <laughs> uh, Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech. And yeah, like those old don't, um, yeah, don't do drug commercials. This is you. This is you on drugs. 
Is this who you want to be? Logs or the wood in there that kind of turn into coals, they just have a really nice little glow effect. So to turn on the heating mechanism, what we want to do is simply just open this back up. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and mess with the flame brightness. So the thermostat is very simple to use. All you have to do is turn this on low. And then right down here, this is where it's actually going to be heated from. So whenever you do have this set up, make sure you have the legs installed. And then at the same time, make sure that it's away from anything that might catch flames. So we'll go ahead and turn the thermostat up a little bit. So one of the things I noticed about this whenever I tested it off camera is how quickly this thing gets warm. So like I said, this is going to be great for those of you in the winter that can just never seem to get warm enough and just need a, need a really nice aesthetic way. Yeah, so 100% without a doubt my favorite electric fireplace. Now it's, 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 it's oddly warm outside and I'm, I'm thinking that's an omen. It should be cold, but it's like 70 degrees today. It's been like above 50 for the past week. So I don't know what's going on. I'm slightly nervous. Okay. Slightly. So this is the worst pain of his life. Worse than any of these. That's both in and out of the military. No, thank you. No, thank you. Uh, sign me. Don't sign me up. I don't want that. Nope, not a, not a fan. Uh, we have the Apex Forge M6 the variable rotary kit. Uh, I think I finally found a way I can use this. I told you guys I don't know what to do with the rotary kit. This is basically, somebody let me know, this is basically Dremel, like a Dremel, right? Because isn't Dremel a brand, but it's basically just a rotary tool? That's basically what this is. Now, you don't have to go out and spend a ton of money on one of these because... This one, first of all, is already cheap at $45.98. Comes with everything that you need, but it's on sale today for $39. So this video that I'm going to play, I think, I want to say this is from a live stream. So I think all I'm going to do in this video is unbox it. I think that's all that really happens. What? Why is my mouse acting like this, dude? It's like, it's acting like it's like, it's like just my mouse has lag. Today we have a 357 piece rotary tool accessory kit from Apex. So there you guys go. There's a little bit of a demonstration right there. Um, yeah, it's, it's because the audio that was in that video is too loud and I needed to adjust the volume of the video that I was playing. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, but there you guys go. Try not to think about dental work right now. Mama Sire, how are you doing today? How are you doing? So the next product is actually out of stock, unfortunately. Dang it. The next product is out of stock. Oh, okay. So we're going to skip to the wireless doorbell kit by Aventech. By Aventech. So this is the D3B. I'm doing good. Uh, I got a, 
I'm feeling I'm feeling like kind of kicking myself and feeling sorry for myself because I I didn't go to I went to bed late so I woke up late and I was doing good last week I don't like waking up late I don't like you know not having an early start to the day so uh, but other than that I'm doing pretty good all right let's go ahead and take a look at see why are you doing this dude you this mouse I I don't recommend this mouse I love steel series but this this mouse has been giving me nothing but issues it's the Rival 3 Wireless. Maybe it's just it's because it's a wireless mouse. But I'm telling you, like this thing is acting like it's lagging. Like You guys have had your computer lag where everything is like glitching and running slow. The mouse, only the mouse does that. Be happier if you could sleep in. I, I think, I feel like I'm less, I'm, I'm not unhappy, but I feel like I don't, I hate when I oversleep. Hey, how's it going today, my friend? You guys can see right there that, that was like a car horn. So that one might get a little bit annoying, but overall it's super loud. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through some of these fast just so you guys are able to hear some of the effects that are available with this doorbell kit. And so we'll go ahead and unplug that just because my wife is sleeping and I want to be able to continue making videos for you guys. But you guys, so you guys go, if you are replacing your doorbells or maybe you don't have a doorbell, like, and this is a super specific situation. This is the easiest way you can add a doorbell. Honestly, the easiest way. The reason I say that is because all you have to do is put up the actual doorbell, the button that they'll press outside, however you want to mount that. And then after that, all you have to do is just plug in the receivers that play the sound wherever you want now it comes with two so if you have like a long or a tall house or a second story or something all you've got to do is just put them you know where you want them so you can hear them in two locations at once um, and there's a ton of built-in sounds like you, you could have somebody press you could have somebody press the doorbell and you hear like people talk it's weird there's so many sound effects for that but yes guys if you're new here make sure that you guys are hitting that follow button every 10 followers on the stream we do a gift card giveaway Right now, we need nine more followers to do our first gift card giveaway for the day. Uh, and then you get signed up at dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. Enter live. All right, we're going to try one more thing real quick here. We're going to switch over here. You guys can't see everything. And dang, I, I just can't. Yeah, for some reason, that, that camera back there, it just it won't connect. No matter what, it just will not connect. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, let's move on to the Deco Pro 128-piece tool set. Uh, $50 for pretty much a, a very inclusive tool set that comes with most of what you're going to need for just standard around-the-house work and projects. This is an old video. This is from a live stream when I first started live streaming. So if you notice the the quality and the content, it's a lot different than it, than it is now. Yeah, try the gas drops, though, Mama Siren. Um... That's what we give Sailor. I don't know how old your son is, uh, but it also could be a gluten intolerance too. Um, so I don't know. There's a lot of things it could be. We're gonna check out soft touch material around the side, uh, locking as well. Go ahead and put that back. You guys have a bunch of different wrenches here in metric. Uh, the wrenches- One year old, yeah. Feel really nice. They've got deco branding on them. And they almost have like this material on them that's like kind of like grip. It's not just metal, it has a grip material on it. So we'll go ahead and put that back. You guys are going to have your Allen keys here. You're going to have precision bits as well. So precision screwdrivers, this is great if you guys work on computers or smaller electrical devices or mechanical devices. There we go. Yeah, everything's built really nice on here. You're also going to have in a, um, a screwdriver that you can add in those bits that I talked about earlier. Soft much soft touch material all the way around that. Let's go ahead and keep going. Um, you have your crescent wrench right here and a Boom. pair of needle nose pliers. So this is a really, really complete set. Let's go ahead and take a look at one of these sockets right now. Sockets feel super sturdy, super strong. I mean, it is metal, so it's gonna feel strong regardless. Um, but yeah, guys, definitely check out the Deco Pro great deal 
Um, great deal. Full tool set. You're going to be able to get basically everything you need to around the house done with just this one tool set. Go ahead. So there you guys go. That is the Deco Pro 128 piece tool set. I, I don't want to sit here and like try to give you recommendations. You've been a parent way longer than I've been a parent. You've been a parent to multiple kids. I've only been a parent to one child, and she's only two months old. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, we know that gluten upsets her stomach and she gets gas. We know that because my wife has a gluten intolerance. So if she eats gluten, you know, it's obvious she breastfeeds and all that. So uh, that could be it. Try the gas drops. Um, those help. Those definitely do help. So soy also. I didn't know that. I didn't know some people had like a soy intolerance. Hmm. The thing about gluten though, the thing about gluten is... It's so hard to be, I'm not, it's not hard, but pretty much all of the like snacks and bread and wheat, it's all gluten. So you have to cut out so much to not, you know, have a gluten um, issue. There it is. We got it this time. Boom. Boom. You guys can see my handiwork here. Hold on. Give me a second. We got it. I knew we would. I knew we would eventually. I knew we would eventually get this set up. I'll show you guys everything. It's uh, yeah, it's difficult because I mean pasta, bread, uh, chips. I mean there's like or not not chips necessarily, but like cookie. Like there's so many things that have gluten in it. It's so hard to be gluten. The weird thing is the gas issue is only at night. Yeah, that, that is weird. I'm trying to think of, like, in my mind, what that could be. It's kind of difficult to think about. Let's try uh, let's try making this a little bit brighter, seeing if it looks any better. See, that's a little bit too dim. So this is what I've got set up over here right now, guys. So you guys know I was, I was, I w I was wanting to build shelves, right? So this is what I've got set up right now. So if I move over here, you guys can see I have my H. Oh, this is so cool that I can do this. You guys can see I have my H30 mate mounted on a wall. If I go back this way, look down a little bit. I've got a little area over here so where I can charge all of my, uh, my camera batteries right there. Uh, so this 3D printer right here, this is the... Um, this 3D printer is my first 3D printer. This is the Ender 3 Max. Uh, it's not auto bed leveling. It's kind of a it's kind of a pain to work with. Um, I've got a little bit of a space back there. You can see the anchor make is going crazy right there. Looks so dang good. And then we've got the one that you guys are all familiar with, obviously. We've got the Anycubic Cobra right there. And so for like this little guy right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up making that be my filament storage box is what that's going to be. But I hung up these shelves. Um, so the wood that I'm using is standard, like it's just plywood. So I'm using plywood to do this, uh, but I stained it because initially I was using press wood. I was using press wood, um, like particle board, and it was not strong enough. So I went out, I bought a sheet of plywood stained it down and now that's like my little this is like my little 3d printer section have you made anything with the anchor printer okay guys so here are the three printers i'm gonna this is a question for you guys i'm gonna have you guys guess you guys know the benchies right like i've told you guys about these um so there's the three printers we have the anycubic cobra on the right we have the anchor make and then the ender 3 max you guys are gonna guess which of these benchies? So the benchies you print um, to basically test how good and how tuned your printer is. So you guys guess which one of these benchies came from which printer. So first up, we're going to go with this one. So we have gold. So we have gold. Which printer do you think, based on the quality, where do you think that one came from? Again, the, the Ender 3, the Anchor Make, or the Anycubic Cobra. Then we have this one right here. 
Oh, you guys can see where it came from. <laughs> you guys can see the color of the spools. Never mind. So, yes, I have done two prints. Here we go. So, here's the first print. This is the first, like, actual long print I did on the Anchor Make. You guys have seen this skull before, but here's, here's my first big print from the Anchor Make. Is it fast? It's it's terrifyingly fast. It's not fast. It's scary fast. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It's 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 almost like you feel like there's a cause for concern. Like I normally, I you guys know how I have my 3D printer set up right here. I can't have it on this desk. I'm not kidding you. I had it here, and while this desk is fine for normal use, if I well actually it's kind of like it must be pressed up against the wall, but the way I had it set up. The anchor make move so fast back and forth, left and right. Uh, it was shaking the desk so bad that things were falling off. So I was kind of nervous. I was nervous in my, for me, I was nervous about putting it on the thing I built because I never built something. But that's actually, it's super stable over there. So this is from the anchor make right here. Skull wireframe pencil holder. Uh, or really whatever. I've been using it to hold uh, like these long... I've been holding it to use these long USB-C cables. That's what I've been doing with it. And then the the Benchy. Uh, now I have to I have to play around with the Anchor Make a little bit more, if I'm being honest, because this isn't like that good of quality. Uh, but let me show you guys something really cool that the Anchor Make does. The Anchor Make does automatic time lapses where it looks like the print just grows. I'll show you guys this. So you can load up the Anchor Make app, by the way. Uh, you can do a bunch of stuff in it. So if I go to me time lapses. We're going to watch the time lapse of this growing or this being printed, not growing. It looks like it grows, though, is what I'm trying to say. Check this out, guys. Hold on. Let me pause this. Can I zoom in? Oh, I, can, I think I can zoom in if I downloaded it. Okay, give me one second. Here we go. Check this out. Oh, no. No. We're almost there, I think. Yeah, watch this. So it looks like this 3D print is, the Anchor Make in the app automatically creates these. It automatically does this. And so that time lapse it just created, that's over like a, that's over like a four hour period or something. We'll get something printing on it. You just, Evans, let me know what we should print on that. Maybe we'll just print that cat phone holder. Uh, but let's let's go ahead. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? It's cool how it looks like it's just kind of growing. And the thing is, is like with the AI technology, um, that'll look even smoother if you have like good lighting and everything on it. Like right now, if I switch over here, I don't really have that good of lighting over here, but I could set up, you know, like one of my overhead lights or something and get it to look pretty decent over there. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. It is. It is awesome to see. I was, you can do that with like, I could do that with my Anycubic co or like that Cobra, but I would have to set it up in a way where like the, the Cobra doesn't have a built-in camera. So I would have to set up like my camera and it has to be plugged into like this little computer board and you have to like type in code. You have to do all this crazy stuff for it to do it. And I'm, I'm just not going to mess with it. Especially now that I have the anchor make, um, there's there's no reason, there's no reason. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and switch over to the Delta, uh, the what are we looking at? The Delta Two portable power station. Print another cat phone holder. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that. So this is the Delta Two portable power station. It uses the LFP battery. You guys know what that means. It's going to last. Who was on my EcoFlow stream on Sunday? Let me know in the chat right now if you were there. We did calculations on like the Delta Pro or the Delta. Yeah, the Delta Pro. That LFP battery technology is going to allow you to recharge the Delta series at up to 6,000 times. Recharging it 6,000 times. So that means if you were to recharge the Delta every single day of your life, every, well not of your life, every single day for 6,000 days straight, 
it's going to last you for 16 years. Your wife ordered a Delta Max and it will be there tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you to get that. 16 years on LFP battery technology. Uh, this has a 1,024 watt hours of battery backup power. I'm telling you. What's up, CC? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Dragon Blogger Nate here. Today, I'm going to be... EcoFlow just doesn't miss. They don't miss. Look at look at beautiful Oklahoma, my friends. This is... uh. <laughs> This is what Oklahoma looks like if you've never been. I'll be giving you guys a quick rundown on the EcoFlow Delta 2. This is the newest lineup in the Delta line from EcoFlow. As always, EcoFlow brought their A game with little big brother Delta 2. You guys can see that right here taking a look at the back, it's going to seem very familiar to the original Delta with your two AC ports, but you're going to have four ungrounded AC ports. Staying with what works, you're going to have your standard plugins for power that also gives you the option to charge over solar or your car. Now, if you want to extend this to 2048 watt hours, you can do that with this extra battery port here on the side so you can add even more power to the already powerful Delta II's capacity. You're going to have your two USB-A ports, your two USB 3.0A ports, and this time you're going to have two USB-C 100 watt outputs, which is crazy because everything's being powered by USB-C, so big shout out to them. Now, just like always, the display is going to look very familiar. Whenever you plug in something, it's going to reflect and register how much life you have remaining with the battery capacity based on what it is that you're charging. The Delta II is small but mighty. It has a ton of capacity at 1,024 watt hours. So you can take this with you on the go, road trips, camping, and keep all of your devices charged. So it really doesn't matter where you're at. If you're camping on road trips, the Delta II is going to keep you covered with a ton of battery life and very easy to use functions. So I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. I hope you guys found this helpful. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys on the next one. You wonder what's the weight of the Delta? The weight of that one. I want to say that one is the Delta II. I want to say it's 27 pounds. It's hard to remember all of the different weights for all of the different um, products or all of the different versions that they have. So give me a second. I'm looking right now to see how much it weighs. Twenty yeah, twenty seven pounds. I don't know how I remembered that one. Twenty seven pounds. I don't know how many that is in kilograms though. I don't know how many that is in kilograms. Uh, let me let me check something real quick. What we'll do real fast is uh, we'll highlight the atom stack since it's the closest thing. I'm gonna show you guys the Anchor Make app, the software, real quick. Uh, so let me switch over to. Um, let me load up the Anchor Make software. So this is cool. So first what we gotta do to get the Anchor Make turned on, you can see that we have the Anchor Make highlighted right there in the middle. First thing we gotta do is, well, we're gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. We gotta turn it on. So you can leave it on if you want. I wouldn't leave it on forever. 12.6 kilograms, okay. All right, check this out. So the All right, there we go. So it's, it's booting up now, but what you can do, is you can actually switch over to the Anchor Make software right here. So this is the, oh, what the heck? Whoa, what happened? Here, let's do this real quick. We'll transform, fit to screen. Hold on, hold on. You guys get to see on my stream the behind the scenes all the time. Fit to screen, there we go. And we'll place this, oh wait. We'll place this right down here in the bottom right corner. There we go. So this is the Anchor Make software right here. So you guys have seen the software for like 3D printers before. This is the one that you can download. Um, from, you don't have to use this, but this is going to allow you to 3D print. Um, hold on. This is going to allow you to 3D print directly from your computer. Normally, you guys know that I have to... Um, normally, what I have to do is I have to actually switch over an SD card with the with the, the print on it, like with the AnyCubit Cobra. But with this one, I don't have to because all I have to do is just load this up. So we'll load in the cat phone holder real quick. We'll load in the cat phone holder. It's right down here, I'm pretty sure. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is it? There it is. Files, boom, boom. There we go. So now what I can do is I can look at it. I can do all of this crazy stuff. Right. I can hit slice. So it's going to slice. It's going to do all this crazy good stuff. But now, right off of the rip, I can just hit print. We can look at all the layers here, see what all the different layers it's going to print. Hit print. So if you guys don't remember, uh, Evans, this is really for you specifically. Yeah, they're, they, they're, uh, they'll be there this week. They'll be there this week, actually. So it's generating an AI image. All right, so look. Down here in the bottom right, it might be hard for you guys to see. You, you guys actually can't see it because of my camera. This is only going to take two hours to print on the Anchor Make. If you guys remember, when we printed the one that Evans won for me um, a long time ago, or I sent to her, um, that took six hours to print on a stream. With the Anchor Make, it's only going to take two hours. Your swag trying to electric scooter was delivered and was one of the handles when that screw in. Shaking my head. Make sure, um, make sure that you are not, because I'm assuming like you put down the handles and then the screws go into like the support frame. Make sure that you are not screwing that into one of the cables. That's that's something I ran into. So all I got to do here is after I hit print, it's generating the AI image. I choose the anchor make, hit print, and from here, check this out. I'll switch over to this scene. From here, it's going to send that file. It's going to send that to the anchor make. So let me see if I can zoom in enough to where you guys can see it. You see how it's like preparing over there? So this, this looks kind of bad, but look. It is now heating up all the way from here. Just a faulty thread. Yeah, that's a bummer. Hopefully that... I'm assuming it had two. The electric scooters I had, they had two of them. Hopefully that one also has two. <laughs> you guys see all the holes in my wall? <laughs> I went through... Okay, so those are all... All of those holes are lined up on a stud. But when I first initially hung this guy right here, I had it up way up there to where, like, you guys couldn't even see them in the background. And it looked so dumb. You could see, like, the support brackets underneath way more. It looked stupid. And I was like, I'm not doing it. So right now, that is 3D printing. It, I, I didn't go over there. I started it from my computer that easy. Two sets of handles. No, two sets of, like, it has two screws. Like, I, all the 3D, or not 3D printers, all of the electric scooters I've tested have had two screws there. So hopefully having just one is strong enough. Because if not, that'd be a bummer. So we just looked at the Delta II. We're going to look at the 220-watt solar panel from EcoFlow which is a great way to charge your Delta products or your river products uh, from the power of the sun. Yo, what's up, guys? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, because as always, you guys will be entertained. Probably not. We'll find out. This is the EcoFlow 220-watt bifacial solar panel. This is going to be a beast whenever it comes to charging your EcoFlow battery backups, such as the Delta II, the River Pro, the Delta Max. Really, the majority of your EcoFlow products are going to be able to be charged by this solar panel. You guys can see that this is a very big solar panel that is roughly about six feet wide and about three feet tall. Now, this is very easy to get set up. It's going to come with this little carrying case right here where everything will just fold into it. Now, you do need extra cables in order to hook these up with your Delta products or your River products. And then once you have all of that set up, all you have to do is just plug them in and you're good to go. So this is rated up to 220 watts. Now, obviously there's gonna be variables such as the weather Weather, if there's clouds overhead if it's overcast the time of the year at the time of shooting this video it is fall so the Sun isn't as powerful as it normally is in the summer but still I'm gonna go ahead and show you because we have this hooked up to my Delta 2 which is behind here I'll show you how many watts this is inputting at right now so here's just a little bit of a view from the back you guys can see that back here it does look like there's a lot going on so I've told you guys this time and time again having electricity 
the EcoFlow solar panels is such it's a bit it's even more peace of mind because I know that if I have an extended power outage I can still keep everything charged because I can keep the Delta charged um, but here you go here you go check out how fast this is Evans watch how fast this will go so what it's gonna do is it's gonna do the first layer first it'll do the first layer first and then what it's going to do after that is it's going to analyze the first layer. And if it if it thinks that the first layer is too close to the bed, or if it thinks that the um, uh, it's too far, it'll automatically adjust itself. <laughs> but look at how fast that is. 250 millimeters a second. Crazy, crazy fast. And again, all controllable right here from my computer. So if I want to stop the print or pause it, I can do that all from my computer right now if I want to. Which is just insane to me. So I'm going to turn off auto real quick and I'm going to adjust the ISO. Yeah, it's, it's scary fast. It's pretty loud too. You guys, let me let me be silent. Tell me if you can hear it in the background. Can you guys hear that? So we're I mean, this is going to be done during this stream. This will be done during this stream. You can see the time remaining right there. Um, an hour and 59 minutes. It's just so good. It's such a good printer. It's such a good printer. Now, I'm, I'm going to be honest, though. I haven't gotten the quality. I haven't gotten the quality out of the anchor. It prints a lot faster, but I, I haven't gotten the quality from that that I do the Anycubic Cobra. But I've had a lot more experience with the Anycubic Cobra. So I have it tuned and set up and, you know, dialed in. So like here's the Anycubic Cobra Benchy. You can see the lines are very, you can't really, I mean you can see the lines, but you can see just the consistency looks great. And then here's the Anchor Make. You see what I mean? Like there's some weird stuff going on with the Anchor Make. We'll get it tuned in though. We'll get it tuned in. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this smart door lock now. It has a $40 off coupon. Uh, so this is a, just a great way to add a new lock to your home. Uh, you can set up pins. You can set up uh, through the app. You can set up pins for multiple users. You can see who's entered the house based on the pin that you assigned. Um, you can unlock it through the app, through your fingerprint. I mean, there's so many ways to use this door lock. It's, it's freaking cool. And as you guys can see, the door is the key, but there's also multiple ways right here on the touch screen. So you can touch right here and the keypad will pop up. So I'll go ahead and type in my temporary code that I created for the video. And as you guys can see, the door is unlocked. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and lock it again. So now that the front door is locked again, you guys can see that right here you have this little thing kind of indicating that you can so yeah uh i think you guys can hear this can you hear that in the background it's probably going to be really loud if it is i'm going to have to stop the print is that bad guys i'm telling you the anchor makes a, a pretty loud printer You guys will have to let me know. It's making it's making really weird noises. It's it's making like almost astro noises. It's like -loo 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 -loo. that sounds wild. Let's check up in on. Let's let's look at it real quick. You can hear, it, but it's not loud. Very strange. Very, very strange. All right, let's go ahead and move on, though. Uh, the next product we're going to look at is the Govee 36-inch tower fan. Like I was saying, 
if you guys need a great smart door lock, this one's awesome. Uh, five different ways to unlock it. So you got your fingerprint pin, the hard lock, the key, or like the little hotel room keys, and you're able to unlock it with um, the app as well. You can also set up multiple fingerprints. And so say I set up my fingerprint, I set up two others, whoever it is, it will automatically, in the app, I can go through and see who has unlocked it at what time, what day. Um, it, it, it's pretty dang cool. So this is a, another product from Govi. Their smart tower fan is all controllable through the app. This one doesn't have lights, which I was surprised by. Add some lights. If it's Govi, I want lights. It would be a ton of air. Okay, Google, set the fan tower speed to four. Okay, Google, set the smart tower fan to a four hour timer. So there's really a ton you can do. Now I haven't figured out exactly all of the different voice commands, but just the fact that I'm able to turn this off and on such as this. Okay, Google, turn off the smart tower fan. You guys can see, you guys can see just like that, that it turned off. Okay, Google, turn on the smart tower fan. And then it just turned back on. Now, the reason I think that that is the most awesome feature about this is because this does not have a remote. And if you guys have this, say, next. Yeah, I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, that, that tower fan, I mean, it's okay, it's a tower fan. Just by nature, t like, you know, stand-up fans like that aren't that cool. Um, but that one is the best one I've used. First of all, it's Gobi, so it's high quality. They have, like, this nature mode. What is it called? Breeze mode. The breeze mode isn't a constant air, um, like it's not constantly at the same strength. It feels like a breeze. It's it, it's really cool. You can set it to auto link to a thermometer too, and only turn only turn on if too hot. I feel like you need to be covering this. So it's ninety dollars. Uh, let's see if it's got any coupons. It's got a five dollar off coupon too. Me face, did, were you here when we were talking about this? I don't know why it's. Per Look at how fast that is. Meat Phase guest star. Yeah, that's the anchor make. Just wait until it starts doing the next layer. Watch how fast it moves. <laughs> it's it's scary. Just wait. It's loud though. It is a loud printer. And I was just telling chat that yeah, it's anchor anchor make M5. So I was just telling chat that all I have to do is, okay, look, there you go, right there. Look at this. Look at how fast that is. 250 millimeters a second. <laughs> it's so loud though, and it's it's violent. I had it set up on this desk, and this desk um, wasn't stable enough. So I started a print and I could see the desk was going like this and stuff was getting closer to the edge. So I moved everything into the center of the desk around the printer. I left for like an hour, I came back, pretty much everything that was on the desk was on the floor. Do we have the multicolor module? No, I don't. That's the thing is like, I don't know. Multi, like this isn't the first printer that has stuff like that, but I just don't think I'd ever use it because I just don't think it's that cool. I don't know. I can't explain it because it's the multicolors are always going to be a very hard cut line. Maybe maybe if I learned how to use it, I don't know how how it works. So maybe if I learned that, I would. Uh, Anchor actually didn't send that. This isn't even on Amazon yet. This isn't even on Amazon. But that would be cool if they sent the uh, if they sent the multicolor module. I would use it. I would try it. I don't understand it though. I mean, like I I get it. But I wouldn't know how to implement it correctly. But I guess I guess I could learn. But anyways, what I was trying to get back to is, as long as I have it powered on with the hard switch on the back side of it, um, I can just do this. Um, I can go here, start my prints directly from my computer. So I can start the prints directly from the computer, which is obviously cool. 
Um, I can monitor it here. So like for some reason this hasn't caught up. It's more than 1% done. I can preview it. So this is the anchor slicer. So I can start the print from here, stop them. It auto creates time lapses. Now it's not, it's not, the, the auto created time lapses aren't as clean as the ones, like if you set up your own camera and you went through Octoprint and all that crazy stuff. But this is what the auto created time lapse looks like. So it's got that. Yeah, that's this right here. So normally this print, like on the, the AnyCubit Cobra, which I print at 50 millimeters a second, this is like a 13 hour print. It took like six with the anchor make. It took like six hours with the anchor make. Uh, and it, I mean, it, it came out really good. Now I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't gotten the quality from the anchor make that I do the AnyCubit Cobra. Like here's the AnyCubit Cobra started at the same time. So I start here's Anchor Make, here's AnyCubit Cobra. You can see that this the AnyCubit Cobra is a much cleaner print, but I also haven't tuned that. I haven't like tuned it and messed with it too much yet. And then here's the video showing like side by side. Remember the both of these prints, this video I'm gonna show you, they were started at the same time. Did you try one of those settings tuning towers? Yes, there's a built-in print I did, and it looked pretty good. So here's what they look like printing side by side. Um, remember, I literally hit the start button. They started the print at the same exact time. And look at the difference in speed here. Same exact time. So there's the AnyCubit Cobra. There's the Anchor Make. <laughs> I mean, just running circles around it. So yeah, it's um, it's it's a good printer. I just have to I have to get it tuned to little boat. Yeah, the Benchy. You know about the Benchy. I just got to get it tuned to my um. I don't know. The Z offset setting the Z offset on this printer is a little bit different than I'm used to, and that's why it's. I think that's why the quality is different. But I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. And then right here we have the, uh, right here we have my very first 3D printer. You can see it's neglected, it's dusty. I did I did get it set back up and leveled and all of that stuff. That is the AnyCubit Cobra. Or not, no it's not, that's the uh, Ender 3 Max. This is so cool. It's across the room and I'm over here controlling it. Wow, Yuffie. Wow. Whoa, charging stuff. Whoa, camera. Whoa, Astro. Whoa, box. <gasps> it's a knife. Right, let's get this center back up and move on. Let's get this center back up and move on. Shall we? Um, that's a hot box. It is a hot box. The craziest thing about this box is it's not even a box if you don't want it to be. You know, you guys, you might actually remember this. You might even remember this thing. Whoa. Now it's a seat for I don't know where. <laughs> now it's a seat. I'm going to use this as my filament storage box. It's pretty cool though. If you guys want a link to this, it's on Amazon. I know I've shown you guys this before. <laughs> what is it? Alright, um... The Govi air purifier is up next. Dude, I am like struggling today. I need to wake up earlier. When I wake up earlier in the day, I have such a better day.
All right, let's go. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Gobi Air Purifier, 60 bucks. This one does have lights. Ah, oh, 420, 69, blaze it. Oh, oh, sick, dude. Oh, are those flames on your Mustang? Oh, that's sweet. I've been telling you to wake up earlier for years. You're just in here all of a sudden? <laughs> Where'd you come from, Dragon Blogger Briley? You want the link for the bot you do? <laughs> okay. Yo, what's up, my friends? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, back again with a, another awesome product from Govi. This is something I didn't even know they made. Obviously, everyone knows them for their awesome lights, which you really can't beat. Now they make an air purifier that, in my opinion, nobody else can really beat it. So just taking a look at it, it's a very simply designed air purifier, but there are some really cool things about this. First of all, in the bottom, this is going to have a true HEPA air filter that is going to be super easy to change out. All you have to do is twist this. The air filter will come out so you're able to maybe use air duster to get it clean or just properly clean it and read the instructions because they're actually going to tell you how to do that. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the controls on top, you guys are going to notice you have a bunch of different options. So you're going to have a night light mode right here. You're going to have your timer. You're going to have that right here. I do have a ton of my Govi products, and now I have the smart purifier. That means you can use Alexa or Google with this in order to actually get this paired up. You can control everything, low, medium, high. You have nightlight mode, and the coolest thing about the nightlight mode is you're actually able to go in here, and you're able to completely adjust all of the colors. So if I go to red, you guys see it changes to red, which looks super awesome. You even have some scenes right here, so you can go through right there. We got whale. If we go to leisurely, it does this kind of like little strobing effect, which looks really nice. So overall, Govi just does not miss whenever uh, they. So true HEPA certified. You got the Govi app control. You can set up timers. It's got the night light. If you need an air purifier, right there. Uh, Briley, if you're still here, I know that you're like kind of somewhat into 3D printing. I know you don't have one, but like you know, we've talked about it. Anchor makes this one, and you've seen my 3D printers going. Watch how fast this is, Briley. This is scary fast. Uh, boom, right there. Just wait. Well, that looks slow. Just wait until it kicks into gear. 250 millimeters a second compared to the Anycubic Cobra, which is 50 millimeters a second. Just wait until it starts going back and forth. Everybody say hi to Dragon Blogger Briley though. You guys have seen his videos. I actually think the Holy Stone. No, okay, never, different one. Look <laughs> how fast that is. It's not even okay how fast that is. Hi, Bri. Boom. And look at the like the adhesion is perfect. And I always forget. Do, Meatface, do you have a 3D printer or do you just have experience with 3D printers? You just found you had no use for the three things I... What did you print? That's the thing. I've legitimately maybe printed one thing, two things that have been useful. But I found I find that I don't print things or design things that are useful. I just print things like this. This is, <laughs> this is all I do. I just print things like this that I don't need. I mean, like stuff like this, yeah, that's kind of useful. Hold like some long cables. Yeah, it's what. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it freaking out in the background. Look at it right now. <laughs> you made some cool boxes that go in boxes. You made some cool boxes that go in boxes that go in boxes until it was tiny, like those uh, Russian, um, like the nest dolls or whatever. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me get you a link to this, Evans, real quick. I'm trying to remember. I think it's Greenco. Greenco folding seat no green co box there it is this is it right here oh that's pretty cheap evans i'm sharing a link in the chat for you right now moving fast yeah it's freaking out back in the background 
look. Evans, there you go. That's it. That's that box right there. Uh, $23.99. I don't know if there's a... Yeah, there's no coupons or anything. Color changing filament drinks coasters. I've seen somebody make something that was like... It was a circle and it had little divots for like shot glasses. And then on the top, like kind of a spout, you pour in like whatever you're drinking. And then it automatically fills up all of like the five or six shot glasses at once. And if you use PLA, that's fine because PLA is food safe. I had cool swirly pattern in my drinks coasters. That's cool. You should get back into 3D printing. Make space for the things that you love. But if you don't love 3D printing, then that's fine too. I get it, I guess. Uh, we have the Holy Stone HS710 drone next. I was thinking for a second that this was Dragon Blogger Briley's video, but he did. Uh, I don't remember the name of Briley's. Holy Stone he did. The HS10? I, I don't know. There's so many different naming schemes. Oh my gosh. So, this was my very first video. My very first video after um, not doing videos for Dragon Ball. This was before I ever even live streamed for, on Amazon. This is the first time I did a video in probably a year. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I am excited to showcase to you the HS710 drone from Holy Stone. This thing has a lot of awesome features. Let's go ahead and jump in and get right into it. So the HS710 is a foldable compact drone. As you can see here, it is very easy to set just fine. And then what you want to do is there is a little unlock button right here. You click that, and that'll start the blades, and then you hit launch. So you guys might notice it seems a little bit quiet. That's because this drone does not have a built-in microphone. And even if it did, all you would really hear are the blades whishing around. It's not a very pleasant sound, so I understand why they didn't put it in here. Now, the 4K camera on this drone does a pretty good job of picking up. Can we pause for... What, what, what was the fit that day? What am I wearing? Am I wearing jeans? Sweats? Like, what is that outfit? <laughs> what is that fit? It's a true 4K? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's native resolution is 4K. One of the things that you guys might notice compared to the other Holy Stone drone, the HS720G, it looks kind of rough here because it's doesn't. It, this one doesn't have a gimbal on it. So while this is a fun drone to fly around, the video you're going to get from it isn't going to be smooth or as smooth because of the um, because it doesn't have a gimbal built into it. But yeah, the resolution is true 4K. Uh, let's check in on the print real quick. Uh, I could do that like this. This is crazy. I can't even zoom in close enough. Otherwise, it'll just be like... I don't think if we zoom in, you'll be able to tell what's going on. Uh, an hour in, is that 56 or 54? It could be either one. Hour 56, hour 54. But you can see that thing's just humming along. You got 30 minutes, you're in the stream team. I can't join Discord calls right now because something's going on with my computer. Um, well, I can join, but it's gonna play out loud through these speakers, like my, my computer speakers that play out loud. Um, and I can't fix it. I've went through all of Windows Audio settings. I've went through all of Discord settings. I, 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 I've even unplugged these, and then it just automatically switches over to playing through one of my monitors, and I can't fix it. I don't know what's going on. It's, it's been super weird. Like, the audio settings on my computer have been weird. Meatface, are you still here? Because if you think that that was a sports reporter, look at the way I set up my EcoFlow stream the other day. If you're still here, Meatface, look, this is, look at the way I had my EcoFlow stream set up. This looked like a sports reporter. Or this looks like a newscaster or something. That took quite a while to figure out how to do that. 
All right, so moving on in the carousel to the product that should never have been sent to me, we have the Imuum Live brushless eight inch chainsaw. So this is a cordless chainsaw. <laughs> it should have, it, I, didn't, I didn't get hurt, obviously. I'm still here, I'm still chilling, but still. You get currently unavailable for the drone? Really, hold on. Oh, I'm not getting currently unavailable. Maybe it's your area, Costi. Oh, trust me, Blake. I've went through all of it, man. Hey, I'm wearing the same shirt. Except I had more hair back then. I've went through all of it. I, Blake, I don't know what it is. Doesn't have a single power tool but has a tiny chainsaw. Oh, yeah, I've got power tools. What are you talking about? I've got good power tools, too, Briley. As if you're not informed. Yeah, it's, I clicked on it and I could see the drone available. It's weird. Boom. And it's a good one, too. Boom. And I've got more. These are just the ones I use the most, so they're always in here. Yo, what's up, my friends? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. Today, we're going to be taking a look at another mini chainsaw by Imoum Live. So this is going to be a great chainsaw, not necessarily for cutting down trees, but this is going to be great for garden work, for low-hanging branches. And now, while I said you aren't going to be able to use this, a little bit of wind there. So we'll go ahead and add some music over this after I actually get to cutting. But you guys can see that this is going to be a great chainsaw to cut down low hanging branches maybe smaller trees shrubs so let's go ahead and test it out and as always safety first as always safety first All right, so as you guys can see right here, the MOM Live works really well. Cleaned up all of those low hanging branches. So if you guys need something that's gonna be great for you to actually get down stuff like I just did, definitely check this out. Make sure you use chain oil. All right, so there you guys have it. Definitely gets the job done. Right now we're sitting at a, um, an hour and 50 minutes left on this and we are, yeah, oh yeah, this will be done. This should be done by the end of the stream. This is another cat phone holder. Uh, but <laughs> so whenever I downloaded this Evans, I got to one thing I got to tell you about this one that's printing. Let me just show you. And I didn't realize it when I downloaded it. Somebody made this version, but look at this. This is what this one has. You ready? <laughs> I didn't know when I downloaded it, this one had these on the back. I didn't know. I guess it is what it is. <laughs> we have the, the, the we have the um, the Joe's Venus Two Pro uh, hair removal tool. So this uses laser to uh, a laser to remove hair from you. So you shave down the area you don't want hair to grow anymore, and uh, over time it will stop growing basically or reduce how much it grows in that area. I, it's going to be really hard for you guys to tell, but if you notice right there, there's a, there's a bald spot on my wrist right here, right there. I used it there one time after shaving it and the hair has not grown back. Oh, cashews. It has knots. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. 
<laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> it just straight up does, yeah. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so weird. Do you have the reverse one too? Reverse of what? Sorry. All right, so, you, so you're obviously going to for a sting or a shot or anything like that. It's more hot than anything. It doesn't necessarily burn. It doesn't feel like a tattoo or a sting or a shot or anything like that. It just kind of, it just kind of feels hot. So you're obviously going to want to take your time. But overall, the design of this, the ease of use, makes me really think that this is going to be a great product. I can't really give you guys adequate results immediately because this is something that takes time and multiple sessions. But just right off of the rip, it didn't hurt. It didn't feel bad. It just kind of felt like I had something hot on my hand. All right, so there you guys go. Now, I can't sit here and tell you for sure, 100%, without a doubt, it's gonna get rid of your hair forever. All I'm saying is where I used it on my, like the top of my wrist right there, that little spot right there, the hair hasn't grown back. Results may vary, I don't know. So we have uh, an adjustable dumbbell set up next. So we're getting into like workout equipment. We have the initial force adjustable dumbbell. Uh, one more time though, real quick. We'll go check up on this. Uh, it's, 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 a, it, 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 it's doing stuff. It's doing stuff. Printing real fast. I just can't believe how fast this... It's just crazy. It just doesn't make any sense. And you guys want to know something crazy? I found out... So that's printing at 250 millimeters a second, right? 250 millimeters a second. Five times as fast as the Anycubic Cobra. Right there. There's a printer called the Bamboo Labs X1 that prints at 500 millimeters a second. Ten times as fast as this, two times as... Uh, whatever. You, you, you can't keep up. You just can't keep up. So if you guys are trying to get swole and super strong right here, the initial force adjustable dumbbell set is what you gotta check out. $179.99, uh, 15, uh, adjustable from 15 to 70 or 55 pounds. It's got a $44 coupon on it. I'm here showing 55 pounds with all the discs on it. So let's put it on the floor and test curl them. So I like the tray that it sets in. The slots work out well. Again, I really like the rubberized grip. It's very easy to spin and adjust the weight. So let's go back again with the def Oh yeah, I heard about that, Shona. Have fun. Shona, I do not want to hear about you coming back and you broke your your right pinky or your left pinky. I don't want to hear about that. Don't go out there breaking pinkies. But have fun. Alt weight of 15 pounds. Dang, Justin is Let's spin it up and Wow. Justin is strong. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and slide it back in, line it up, spin it again to make it. Well, see, this is why we can't have nice things, okay? Because you always want to break pinkies. 35 pounds. Okay, spin it back in. Now we'll make it at 45 pounds. Again, I'm pretty much not able to curl this much weight myself, being the fact that I normally only do 25 pounds. And then, of course, 55 pounds, which I can't curl. 55 pounds on a single arm. I'm not that strong. So, again, but it is adjustable, so it works with you. It's great if you have two people in your house or more people and you're at different weight levels so they can just adjust how they need and also grows with you. Without having to have a whole bunch of separate dumbbell sets, you just have one dumbbell set that can adjust weights with you. It was on your bucket list? Yeah, I've never, I've never been skiing. I've never been snowboarding. I think if... I don't know if Briley's still here. I know he has. I know he has. I just never have, just never have. So there you guys go, a uh, very easy way to not have a bunch of different weights or free weights everywhere. I had to buy wrist weight, wrist weights for my table arm. 
like your like like this like this like a boom arm one of these what do you mean table arm oh yeah what it just because it, I'm, I'm assuming it, it's shaking but it's freestanding I'm assuming it's just it's just, it's kind of like wobbly that happens honestly that happens it's like in order to not have your boom arm shake the base or where you're setting it needs to be stable but also like if you want to ensure that it's not going to you really have to spend I'm not saying you didn't spend good money on it but the like the $30 $20 ones is they're just they're that price for a reason my son and I are going this weekend it's gonna be awesome you need you know what you needed Shona I don't need to go over there I forgot I've got I've got my eyes right here you know what you should have had when you were there this weekend is this guy right hold on dude what is up I'm never I'm switching back to a wire wired mic you needed this guy right here you needed that camera right there the insta x x3 to film sweet jumps and stuff okay this is difficult you needed that camera right there so before you go just take a quick trip from cali just drive out to oklahoma it'll only take probably 20 hours i'll let you borrow the camera go back go skiing then drive back return it and then yeah so before you go just make a quick pit stop in oklahoma i'll let you borrow it <laughs> i had a mirror like that the cement broke out of the bottom of it a mirror a standing like a a mirror that stain i've never heard of mirrors with stands or like a base that's kind of weird Uh, so we got some Yosuda products. We got the a mirror with a neck. Yeah, that's that's strange. Top heavy. Yeah. I mean, that's like I understand though the whole like instability issue. I cannot have that printer. I can't have that printer here. If I do, it shakes the desk so violently that everything just falls off. So I was nervous putting it there. I mean, all of these are in studs except for that very last one. I just used drywall anchors. All of those are on studs. I was a little bit nervous, if I'm being real, putting it there because I didn't know how good of a job I did installing the shelves. Uh, now, since the shelves are against the wall, it does vibrate the wall a little bit. Uh, you really only can hear it in this room, and you can hear it in the hallway if you really listen to it. Like, you can hear the vibrations a little bit, but other than that, like, the that's stable it's not moving around at all like i mean it's not it's not gonna go anywhere i don't think let's actually go ahead and uh check back up on the print real quick oh i can add presets to this i didn't know i could add presets to the software Add a preset right there. Boom. A magnifying mirror. Oh, I, oh, you mean like um, like makeup mirrors? Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Where it's like a circle. Like there's like two. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. All right, let's go ahead and check. Take a look at the uh, magnetic rowing machine. Justin and his son Oliver did this video. Which one is that? Is that kiwi? Or is that pumpkin? That one's kiwi. I think pumpkin's darker. This Yasuda indoor rowing machine is an absolutely fantastic workout and fitness product that once you put it together with all it can take up less floor space. It's easy to do. Just simply screw it in, lock it up, and then take it out the next day. Or maybe you only row on weekends. You just lock it up and slide it in a corner. What I so here you guys, I just wanted to show you guys something. This is prime Justin right here. You see the cargo shorts, right? And I'm not even going to hate on cargo shorts because I wear them too. 
I wear them too. All I wanted, <laughs> all I wanted to do is, if you guys didn't know this, I think Justin has told you, and I've told you, Justin got bullied by his children because he used to wear jean shorts. He got bullied by his children, so he switched over to cargo shorts. It's like, jeans are up here on do not wear. Cargo shorts are probably right around here. And then shorts that go past your knees are in between. I wear cargo shorts, though. I don't care what anybody says. They're comfortable, and they have pockets. Lots of pockets for all of this stuff, so... Say what you will. I will wear a cargo. I wear a cargo shorts while I'm wearing a Hawaiian shirt with flip flops. Come at me, bro. Or maybe you won't. It's so quiet. This fact, this rowing machine is so quiet that my son was actually rowing while we were watching Stranger Things season four last night, and it doesn't make hardly any noise at all. It tracks your time, tracks your distance, tracks how many rows, and you could see the stand on the top of it is big enough to hold a big tablet or a phone with ease so now it's not a smart machine it doesn't have any ai it just does uh, analog digital tracking and you put batteries into the display but the slide is smooth on the seats it provides incredible magnetic resistance and you could just turn the knob to adjust resistance levels and i use the rowing machine at the gym all the time and this is as good as any professional rowing machine i've ever had muscles and his pecs now he's a huge fan of it and then look at oliver right here effortless effortless you see justin right here while we oh my gosh the freeze frame watching stranger things season four justin's last night. right here and strong it's calories strong. But not My like son had Oliver. never used a rowing machine before. Not he was like super Oliver. super impressed at just how well it worked out. Justin's strong, but look at this. This is this is prime Justin 30 years ago. Right here. Next of kin. Boom. Oh, so there you guys go. That one's 339 339 with a $100 off clickable coupon. Now, the next one is also from Yo Yosuda. It's also a rowing machine. It's also a rowing machine, but this one actually uses water to simulate uh, a more realistic uh, rowing, you know, pattern. I don't know why, and I don't know why Demetrius did this one. I don't know why he never showcases, like, he never showcases the product like what doing what it's supposed to do what's up everyone my name is Demetrius and today we're going to be talking about this water rowing machine with Bluetooth and the estimated weight of this one right here is 300 pounds and it is a aluminum dual slide rail as you can see right here and it also has Bluetooth which you can connect, connect to your phone on there and it also has a screen which you can put up to like a tablet right here you can put up to 10 inches with that and on this one it has a it's a high quality polycarbonated tank which is right here it comes with a little tiny tube of water beads for the water to be purified and uh, you don't have to replace the water on that Right there, two bolts. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and skip through this. I'm trying to get to. The, okay, there we go. So you guys can see that right down there at the bottom, that this one's actually gonna use water. So the resistance bands are attached to the components that move inside of that chamber where the water's at. So instead of it just being like a resistance band that's wound around something, you're actually pulling it through water to give it a more um, immersive experience as if you're rowing because that's what these are for I mean they're they're to simulate that you are rowing um, you know on a on a rowboat basically I mean I don't know how else to explain it so let me see the price difference 339 on the first one with a hundred dollar coupon this one is 369 with a thirty dollar coupon so it depends on what you guys want uh, they both have tablet holders which is really nice uh, let's jump forward, and we're going to take a look at the Geek Chef Espresso Maker. Wait, hold on. What the heck? No, we're going to look at the Ice Jungle Under Counter Refrigerator. 
Um, it's normally thirteen hundred down to twelve thirty one two three four. It's an expense. It's not a mini fridge, but it is an expensive fridge because it's commercial grade. I mean, this is one that you can use indoors, outdoors. You can build it under your cabinet, out in the open, whatever you want to do with it. Um, goes all the way down to freezing temps too. Hey, what is going on, guys? Guys, Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment, and today I'm super excited to showcase to you this Ice Jungle Under Counter Indoor Outdoor Fridge. This thing is made very, very well. As you guys can see right here, it is all stainless steel, and on the handles, it has this really nice brushed stainless steel look on it, and everything about this thing just feels very, very, very well made. As you guys can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and walk up next to this. This thing is actually a lot bigger than it might have seemed on the videos. You guys can see it's about hip high height on me and it's an almost arm's length as very very well and so you can turn on and off the light so if also you one of my uh i've told you guys this a thousand times before but my favorite thing about this is the night light feature no okay my favorite thing is how many drinks it can hold um so you have dividers that get set up with it but you can see how that's a full 48 pack of water right there uh if we continue on my my second favorite feature of this fridge is how cold it gets and then the night light feature right here so whenever you open this up it's got a light um so if you you know if you wake up in the middle of the night just parched absolutely parched um you're fine you're gonna be able to see in the dark with it so you're gucci oh guys oh guys we need to um i think we need to take a comedic or not a comedic we need to take a a break not from the stream or from videos. Uh, the next product I do have on hand, no, no, don't even think about it. We are not making espresso live. So I think what we should do is we should do the typing game. We should do the typing game. I'm gonna get the typing game set up after this. I'll share a link during this video and I am going to uh, set this up and share a link in the chat so you guys can get entered or so you guys can get like, you know, loaded in. So if you guys want to do the typing test, let me know. Oh, in here, this is going to come with two different cups. So right now we have two cup liner on the inside. You guys can see that right there. All you have to do in order to take this out is just line this up and then it will pull out. Now, if you want to only make one cup of espresso, it is also going to come with that little, uh, little one cup guy right there. And then you're going to have a scoop right here and a little tamp. So whenever you put the espresso powder in here, I guess you gotta push it down. I don't know, some of you guys get crazy with your espresso stuff, but overall I think you guys are gonna really like this. Now using it, like I said, very simple. You're gonna plug it in, press the power button, you're gonna select how many cups you are making. The water filtration system or the water, I guess, reservoir on the back is very easy to take out and clean. You're gonna have your little max fill line right there. And I really like that this one just kind of swings open, makes it a little bit easier to use. And then once you are done, Filling that back up, all you have to do is just slide it down on the back again. So definitely check this out from Geek Chef. I think you guys will really like it. Very simple design, and I know this is going to work great. So I'm Nate with Dragon Blogger. See you guys later. All right, is the video done? It is. All right, guys. So if you want to play the typing test, uh, I shared a link in the chat just now. I shared a link in the chat. You guys can change your name right up here in the top right. Change your name. Choose your icon. Lori Lynn. Okay, we got four people in here. That's fine. We're going to switch this over to hard. Uh, you guys, again, here is the link. Sixty euros. What is that? A hundred US dollars, maybe? I guess you can try. All right, you guys, there's the link. We're going to start the game soon. We only got three people in here. We'll go with medium. We'll go with medium. Let me switch over to my good keyboard so I can absolutely destroy Lori Lynn in this typing contest. So I can absolutely obliterate. <laughs> we got five people. Five people in here right now. I'm going to give you guys 10 seconds. To, uh, we got CCs in the chat. But you're working right now. Six people. Six people. Don't forget, you guys can change your name right up here at the top. 
Oh, we lost somebody. If you were trying to join, rejoin right now. The link is in the chat right here. Here you go. Same here. Oh, we got Bud. Bud's back. Okay, Bud. I don't know what I'm doing. CC, what's going to happen is when I hit the start game, obviously don't don't re don't rely on the, my stream that you're watching right now to tell you when to start. You need to rely on um, watch watch the actual screen of the typing test. You'll see a countdown. So I'm going to start it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, here we go. Watch, guys. There's a countdown. Get ready to type. You have to type exactly what it shows. Watch it. Watch the screen. Well, this person is really pessimistic. the heck this is a weird this is weird okay 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 I'm done yeah <laughs> I know I know I know I have I have RA and rheumatoid arthritis is that what that is and I've never been a fast typer Lori Lynn's in second place right now. CC and Bud just gave up, I think. I think CC and Bud just gave up. <laughs> I think CC and Bud gave up. Lori, come on, you're in second place. Back in high school, I could do 114 words per minute. That's pretty fast. You typed it, but I guess I didn't have my cursor. We'll, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll run it again after this. It looks like... Okay, so Bud just stopped. I was typing the whole time. Make sure you have... Are you on? Are you on your phone? All right, Lori Lynn's finished, so we're going to stop this. We're going to go back to the lobby. Here's the link if you guys want to join. Briley, feel free to join. It's right here. Here's the link. You can change your name. Make sure that, like, you make sure you have your window selected, too. Make sure you guys, like, if you're in here, make sure you click on, like, this area. Like, click here with your mouse to make sure that you're able to do it. You guys can change your name right here. We're just going to do medium. Now... Easy, difficult, easy, medium, and hard. It doesn't change like how hard the words are. It just changes the length of it. Click where? I'm not saying like click somewhere specifically here. Just make sure that if you are on, if you see what you see here, don't, don't click like um, on a different window. Make sure like you, you, you've clicked something in here. Like click a different icon maybe over here on the right. Like maybe click a different icon. Like I'll choose the robot. And then you can just hit save. Right here. So this is where you change your name. Right over here on the right. DB Bry. DB Bry. Oh, Darren's here. All right, guys. I'm going to start it. Remember, when you hear that, don't rely on me saying I'm going to start it to watch it. There's going to be a countdown that you guys will see in real time. Because remember, there's a delay between me and you guys. So I'm starting it now. So maybe even click up here. 
Oh, you gotta type type here when the game begins. At the bottom, at the bottom, at the bottom, at the bottom. Boom! So you have to be typing at the bottom. That's where you have to have your cursor selected. Okay, Darren. All right, so we got me at first place. DB Bra. At second, who, who got third? Who got third? Bernardo at 45. Fourth place is uh, Seabass. Okay, Seabass, I see you. Darren got fifth. Darren got fifth. I gotta get warmed up. We're gonna, we're gonna run one more round after this. We're gonna run one more round. Bet doing this on a phone would be fast. The game has ended. The game has ended. So, Dragon Blogger Nate right here at first. Dragon Blogger Briley at second. We got third place is Bernardo. Fourth place is Seabath. Fifth, Darren. Sixth, Lori. Bud at seventh. And then CC at eighth. All right, we're going we're gonna to start again. Uh, I'm going to give you guys the link. If you want to join, here's the link right there. So whenever I start the game, you have to click down at the bottom where it, where it says. It, there's like basically when I start the game, you'll see click here when the game starts. That you that's what you have to have your uh, mouse selected on in order to type. All right, so here we go. Here we go. We're going to start it again. Boom. Here we go, guys. Get ready. Remember, you have to type down there at the bottom. It says type here where the game begins at the bottom. Dude, I am messing up so bad. Oh, I hate this. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. That was terrible. <laughs> I did so bad there. I am out. <laughs> Butt says no way. <laughs> Butt says I'm done with this. I don't like this game. <laughs> but does not like this game. That one was rough. Can we do it one more time? We gotta go easy. We'll make it a shorter game, so we'll go easy. One more time. That one was rough. I was messing up terribly. 
All right, so back to the lobby we go. I type fast and make errors too. Here you guys go. Here is the link one more time. You have to work a ticket. All right, Darren. I'm out on this one. All right, here we go. We're going to start it up. Here we go. Oh, this is quick. This is going to be a quick one. Dude, why am I typing so bad? It's just this website that I type bad at. It's just this website. Only this one. Seabass at 75 words per minute. I got destroyed. 10 words per minute. Like, look at this, guys. I'm going to go to a different one. I'm closing the lobby. Like, watch how much faster I type here. I'm not even going to do the whole thing. Okay, we might as well just finish this one. I think the thing that messes me up is that you have to correctly do the word. You can't continue on if you mess up. Sixty-nine. See, that's not that good. Sixty-nine is nice, though. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. All right, I needed that little bit of a break. Yeah, exactly. When you don't type a script. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, for some reason, typing out like, like a like a preordained message or paragraph. Like, I can't explain it. It makes it more difficult. I don't know why. It's because it's not what I'm thinking. I don't know. It's strange. Uh, so we have the Estilo, I don't know, carafes? I don't know how you say these. The Estilo glass carafes jars. That's what I'm going to call these jars. Carafe? Carafe? Giraffes. Giraffes. These are the Estilo giraffes. like i said the glass is super thick on this but don't go around throwing this on cement or anything don't go around testing it but it does look really nice it's got this nice sheen to it and then taking the lid off right there at the top which does make super good suction so it keeps everything airtight and fresh you guys can see here you have a large opening to put lemons or mint leaves or anything like that and you know we're gonna act like you guys didn't see that yeah, this is what I meant to do. And honestly, having something like this just makes it really easy to pour yourself some cool water or some lemonade or some iced tea on these hot summer days. So if you guys have been looking for some new Carafe jugs, definitely check these ones out and I'll see you guys on the next video. Yeah, I feel like I have to have my keyboard. Like, I feel like my keyboard has to be in like a certain way for me to type correctly and I don't know what it is. I think when I type the fastest is after I've been gaming because so I, whenever I'm gaming, I don't have my mouse like this. I don't have my keyboard. I move my keyboard like this a little bit. I don't know why. That's just what I do. But no, because then that's not right. Maybe like I type like, maybe it is just straight up like this, like just straightforward. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's like this. I, I'm not sure. There you guys go. If you guys need some new, uh, you know, tea holders, water holders, right there, Estilo's got you covered. They also make a grill brush <laughs> that I broke a rib on. All right, 
let's check up on the uh, 3D print real quick. An hour and 29 minutes. I feel like it's been longer than an hour. Is this counting down in real time? There's no way whenever we first started it, that was, th that, that was way longer than 30 minutes ago, right? Or am I tripping? So this is just a grill brush, guys. There's not a lot to be said about that. Thank you so much, Brenda. Not a lot to be said about it. I'm going to go check up on this 3D print real quick and leave you guys with this grill brush. Hey, what is going on, guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at this steel bristle cleaner for grills. You guys can see right here that this is a very simple design. The handle is made out of a pretty hard plastic. It's got a little hook so you can hang this off the side of your grill should you choose to do that. And then the extensions right here are actually this braided steel. So I know this is going to hold up well over time and it's not just going to bend or deform. And then, like I said, these are steel bristles. And of course, looks, like everything looks, else uh, in the house, there is um, cat hair on it right here. Looks flawless. Looks flawless. Because then any of the stuff that is caked on there and is kind of hard is going to be more loose or it's going to be easier to clean when it's hot. But you guys can see that even without it being hot. Yo, Paula Jane, welcome to the stream. So there you guys go. Very simple. There's not a lot to be said about it. It's just a grill brush. Um, yeah, pretty good. 14 bucks. Paula Jane, thank you so much for following. You guys, we need eight more followers. <laughs> eight more followers to do our next gift card giveaway. I used to could type really fast. Yeah, I can't. Anymore. I don't know. I feel like my... I don't know. I think I'm just getting older and like my reflexes and all that stuff just isn't what it used to be. Uh, I used to type way faster. I was a medical transcriptionist. I used to work on a PC at that point. I'm on a laptop and clearly can't type fast as before. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's age. Like I know I'm not like old, but I'm older. I guess 27 is like maybe when you start to like, you know, maybe like here, maybe I'm doing one of those. But somebody told me like, as soon as I hit 30, it's like this. Is that true? What age do you guys feel you did this? <laughs> I'm sure you have already talked about your game over the weekend. How are you feeling? Uh... If I'm being honest, if I'm being br brutally honest with myself, separating the fact that I'm a Buffalo fan... I don't think I don't I don't think we're gonna beat Cincinnati. But still being honest with myself, we can beat Cincinnati. We have the tools. But inconsistencies on Buffalo just destroy them. We almost got beat by a third string quarterback and receivers that couldn't catch a ball to save their life, and we almost got beat. I'm not I know Buffalo can beat Cincinnati. They have the tools to beat them. But it depends on what Buffalo team shows up that day. That's all it is. If the Buffalo team that showed up against Miami on Sunday shows up, we're not going to we're not going to win. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like three picks that game, I believe. Um our turnover rate in the red zone is disgusting. It's it's the worst it's ever been. The defense isn't... I mean, we're, we're missing some key players. I mean, Micah Hyde, really. We're missing Micah Hyde. I don't know, man. If we play the same way we did against Miami, they're not going to beat Cincinnati. Oh, what happened to Brady? <laughs> Brady, gave, Brady gave up his kids and his wife to lose to the Cowboys. <laughs> That's what happened to Brady. Oh, that's rough. That's that's bad. That's bad. That's what happened, CC. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Where's Michaela? Michaela's usually in here talking about Buffalo Bills and saying how bad they are. I started the game in the first quarter. I watched it, like, maybe, like, a minute after kickoff. And then 
I was like hanging out with the baby and I looked and they were up three t they were up 24 to 0 and that's when I stopped watching. <laughs> and that's when I stopped watching. I was like, "You know what? Okay. This is Dallas's game, especially with how bad Brady and his team was playing." I was like, "It's Dallas's game." Evans, I don't know if you're still here, but wait until you see how good this one looks. Like, the layer lines are perfect. You don't see anything. It doesn't even look like it's 3D printer. The Cowboys kicker. Oh, yeah. And then on top of that, the Cowboys kicker uh, missing three point afters. Did you guys see Peyton Manning? Peyton Manning stood up. Him, He was watching it with his... Uh, he was watching it with uh, Eli. And after that third miss, he just stood up and walked away. And he's like, what is going on? <laughs> Dude, if <laughs> he's not going to be an NFL kicker much longer if he keeps being bad at what he's paid to be good at. Because that's, <laughs> that's not good. That's gross. You don't mean three in a row, too. Not just like three in a game or three in... Um, Oh, you know, two weeks or something. That's his, yeah, that's his one job that they probably pay minimum a million dollars a year to, to do. <laughs> I'm happy we, I'm, I'm happy Buffalo's got Tyler Bass. Uh, but yes, it is. Uh, sorry to, sorry to, uh, dodge your question there. That is the Anchor Make M5. It is printing at 250 millimeters a second. 250. Which is crazy. So we're going to move on and take a look at these refrigerator storage bins. I'm going to set up a light back here so it looks better. Because right now it's grainy because of everything going on. And I'll be right back. Right here as you guys can see. Oh, this is from a stream. Along. You guys remember this stream setup? Gosh, this was a long time ago. We've got these, this green co six piece stackable fridge bin. The description is in the name. They are fridge bins. So we'll go ahead and get these open. So opening it up, you guys go, oh, almost dropped it. You guys can see here, you've got that super thick styrofoam just to protect these. Cause these are like a hard acrylic. The first one that we're gonna get, maybe two of them. Okay, so we got two here. Oh yeah, this is like super hard acrylic plastic. All right, so the first one, you're going to get a 1, 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. A 14 egg holder. You guys can see right there. Super solid. This looks like crystal. I don't know if it's my lights or what. All the reflections. But no, super solid. I mean, like, this is, like, very sturdy. You guys can see. Super sturdy. So, nice little egg holder there. Yep, this is, like, the, the drink holder. So this one, I mean, you don't have to use it. There's no like law, but this one right here is really good for your 12 ounce cans. As you guys can see right there, you can just stack in a bunch. You get about two, you get about two high while they're on their side. Uh, just as solid as the one before, obviously it's a little bit longer. So it's a little bit more wobbly, but super clear too. I mean, that works great for pop cans. You couldn't get it going last Friday. Yeah, I couldn't. There was something, okay. I feel like ever since my EcoFlow stream, everything's been like slightly out of place. Uh, but yeah, no, they really are great. We were using them for a while, um, and then we just ended up changing over to not using them anymore. Uh, just because the way we have our fridge set up, they didn't really work for us. But if you guys do need it, uh, check that out. Now, I think the next product, and I'm trying to find, like I just had all of this set up two days ago for the EcoFlow stream. I'm trying to find my plug-in for that light right there. Yesterday, I saw they only have one for water bottles. It takes $10 to fill that with eggs. Oh, I know. And we eat a lot of we eat a lot of eggs in the house. It's bad, Briley. So we buy the box. You know what I'm talking about? The box that you get that's like... It's a whole box. I think it's 64 eggs. And it's like two, two basically like layers of eggs. That, that used to be like 12 bucks. Now it's like 26. It's just crazy. Cray cray. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Eggs are so expensive. Uh, this is the Green Co. Sherpa blanket. 
This is the most recent setup before what it is now. You know, I have a question for you. How cozy do you like to be? Because personally, I like to be extremely cozy. What's going on, guys? Nate with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be talking about being cozy. What do you do to get cozy? Do you wrap up in your normal blanket? Do you wrap up in a fleece blanket? If so, I have a new fleece blanket that we're going to be taking a look at. This is just a large, kind of off yellow fleece blanket by Green Orange. Now I have used a fleece blanket from them in the past, but it didn't have this kind of like tufted design to it, this kind of shag like material. So let's just go ahead and rip this open and see what it's about. So let's see right here. So taking a look at it, like I said before, this is super, super soft. Just taking a look, you guys can see that. I mean, just look at that. Just look at that. That is beautiful. Let's open this up all the way. Ooh, ooh, hold on. You guys are gonna like this. You guys are gonna like this. Nice little cardboard right here for your cat to scratch up if you want that. But if we take a look at the blanket itself right now, you guys can see you have these nice little balls right here. You have these little balls that are just kinda hanging there. Might add a little bit of weight, but I'll go ahead and stand up and show you guys this full. So as you guys can see right there, it's a rather large blanket. Now I'm about six foot flat, and this covers my entire body. Are we and good? It's so, so comfortable. This is just very well made. Green Orange just doesn't seem like they really make a bad fleece blanket. I mean, if you guys need a new one, you definitely need to check this out. Like I said before, it's super soft. It's almost a goldish color. I really... Is that really what it is? I didn't know that. Uh, that is a super soft blanket. Let's see if this looks better now. It should look so much better now that we have some light on it. And now the background looks kind of weird, doesn't it? It doesn't even look that much better. <laughs> it actually looks out of focus now. Let me see if I can focus it. Image. Where's focus? Auto focus, manual focus. There we go, now it's focused. We're printing another cat phone holder, by the way. That's what's printing right this second. Evans, does that color look familiar? Nails. Can you guys fill me in on this, apparently, this inside joke? I want to know. It's a joke between us, Nate. So it's an inside joke. I don't get to know about it. Oh, we got some shoes. Now, normally, you guys know, whenever I talk about shoes on the stream, they're not mine. Today, they actually are my shoes. We have four pairs that we're going to talk about, all from the same beautiful company that is Bruno Mark. I'm telling you guys, I can't wait to show you guys all of these. I cannot wait to show you guys these. I don't know why this is so dark. It doesn't make any sense. Let's fix it real quick. It's never been this dark before. Like this. Exposure, maybe? Does the gain need to be higher? DRC strength? That's why I didn't have my DRC strength set correctly. There we go. All right. So let's talk about some shoes. Let me grab all four pairs. All right, so the first pair right here that we're gonna talk about are these casual dress shoes. These are casual dress shoes from Bruno Mark. I just received all four of the pairs that we're gonna talk about last week. And I'm telling you guys right now, these are some of the most comfortable and quality shoes I've ever owned in my life. So right now, these are just casual dress shoes. You can see that you kind of have like this pattern that run, Bruno Mark. 
Bruno Mark. Not Bruno Mars. Bruno Mark. <laughs> Close, though. I thought the same thing. Um, so these are going to be more fit for, like, maybe if you, like, these are business casual shoes. So maybe you work in an environment where you need uh, to wear more. For me, like, honestly, if I say what kind of shoes these are, these are, like, salesman shoes. They don't have to be crazy good church shoes, but these ones are very comfortable. They're lightweight, too. They don't weigh a lot. Uh, you're going to have, like, the brown tongue on the inside. Now, the, the thing that makes these the best out of any other dress shoe that I've ever used is the internal cushion on these. Funeral or wedding shoes. Yeah, these, these might be good for that. Um, so if you just take a look at them. Now, I wear a size 10 and a half. These are 10 and a half. They fit perfectly. I mean, these are perfect fits. These ones do have a little bit of a texture on the bottom for some grip. You got the Bruno Mark branding right down there, too. Looks really nice. These are very simple, casual dress shoes. Um, the, the cushion on the inside of these is what makes these stand out compared to other shoes I've tested from other brands um, or just bought myself. So there's some casual dress shoes. Really like the design of them. Uh, pretty simple. I'm not a, if I'm being honest, I'm not a big fan of that texture right there. I feel like that's more reserved for sneakers. Um, now we're gonna move on to their sh the shoes from them that I've been wearing almost every day. So these are their, these are sneakers from them. You guys can see that they are a little bit dirty. I've been wearing them every single day. Uh, these are extremely, extremely lightweight. These weigh like seven ounces a piece. They're extremely lightweight. You've got the texture on the bottom. It did have like this felt material at first that made it kind of slippery on hard surfaces, but it wore off and now they're, now they're fine. Uh, now these are slip on too. Now I know you see that they have these, um, they have like these ties, but I can just slip these on because if you notice, it almost has like a sock-like texture around it, so it conforms to your feet. But these are super, super stretchy. Even this material is. This is all breathable all the way throughout. Um, they do have a pretty decent bend in them. Now I, one of the things I wanted to talk about is I have a high arc in my feet, or arch. I have a high arch in my feet. These don't give the appearance that they are going to support a high arch, but they do. Uh, these ones are like walking on clouds, and I mean that. So this is the insole that comes with it. You can see right there just how thick this uh, heel portion is if I pinch down on it. Uh, these are extremely lightweight, extremely, extremely comfortable shoes. I'm telling you, like you, you, you won't understand until if, if you want a pair of new shoes, um, just, just give these a shot. I promise you. I, I think you're, I think I almost know you're going to love them. I can't explain it. They're lightweight. They're breathable. Uh, nice design on them too. Uh, they're, they're basically slip on. They conform to your feet. They conform around your feet whenever your foot's in there. Um, yeah, these are my favorite shoes that they've sent me so far. But moving on the next pair is going to be um, a dress shoe. Like 100% this is a dress shoe. So check these out. These are straight up just super, super nice shoes. Again, just like all of their shoes that I've tested, they all have just this crazy good insole. What's up, Ryan? They all have this crazy good insole. Looks like this one might not be removable actually. So I'm not gonna, I'm not, well it might be, but I don't wanna rip it out. Uh, their insoles on these are just so dang comfortable. Uh, so you can see that right here, we've got that really nice, the color looks better on this. The color looks better here. Uh, so you've got that beautiful wood texture right down there at the bottom. Look at that. Just looks so dang good. And I think, I don't want to say for sure, but I, I think that might be real wood because I, I can't scratch it away. Uh, if I knock on it, it, it feels like real wood. Um, so these are obviously just very stylish. Uh, you could use these with a lot of different outfits. They could be church shoes. They could be wedding shoes. Uh, here's one of my favorite things about this. Look at the design on the bottom. That is freaking cool. I mean, look at every, every pair that they've sent me so far. They are all just immaculate quality, immaculate comfort. So if you guys need some, you know, 
These could be anything. These could be casual. These could be work. These could be, uh, you know, wedding. They could be church. Whatever it is, right there, you need to check these ones out. Is that it? We didn't. We don't have all of them. Oh, we don't have all of them in the carousel. I have one other pair. I thought we had all of them. What's up, uh, Ryan? How you doing today? I have one other pair, uh, which, in my opinion, I don't really know. I don't really know what to go with on these. These are a little bit more casual, uh, but these ones are these ones are, 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 are strange in a way. So first of all, when it comes to all of the insoles on all of their shoes, this one has the most. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. This one has the most cushion on that insole. Uh, you have like that texture right here, kind of like those popped out textures. And then there's that texture from the first shoe. Um, so these are, these are definitely more casual than the last pair. But one of the things that stood out to me on these I think these might be really good for um, like all day. They're almost sneakers in a way, but this texture on the bottom is like, this is all a thick rubber basically. You can see, you can actually see the line. So these have like a ton of uh, like anti-slip material on them. There's the other shoes, but these aren't in the carousel. I kind of figured we would like talk about all of them, but I guess not these ones. Uh, but Bud, I'm telling you right now, if you're still here, I'm telling you right now, if you're still here, bud, these are the shoes you want to, you, if you just want a new pair of shoes, and this is from, this is coming from someone that doesn't even, like, care that much about shoes. I have not stopped wearing these. I have not stopped. These sneakers, I'm telling you, these are so freaking comfortable. And I don't even care about shoes that much. And even I know that these are just supreme. These are these these are my favorite pair they've sent me so far for sure. Great for work. You, you have to you have to try them out. I promise you're gonna love them. Bruno Mark doesn't miss apparently. I never heard of Bruno Mark until they sent me these shoes, and I'm kind of upset because now going forward I'm gonna try to purposely find Bruno Mark shoes. Uh, the next product we have is the Blazing Sun 1500 Lumen Solar. Um, we're well not solar. Um, lantern and uh if when i say this is bright it's an understatement oh you have worn bruno mark shoes before wow hey what is going on guys in the thing i'll be right back while this video is playing guys i'm gonna go grab a drink it with jack and blogger tech and entertainment and today i'm super excited to showcase to you this absolutely amazing and super bright portable lantern by blazing sun this is a 1500 watt lantern so let's just go ahead and jump in and take a look at everything this has to offer you guys can see here that you have this really nice kind of sea green or sea blue uh, color pattern right there. You also have the matte black trim around it as well as the button has that matte black on it. The bottom here has this really nice soft touch rubber right here, which is also going to help this kind of dampen the fall should it ever fall. Um, on top, you guys can see that you have kind of this little nice pattern up here as well as that rubber lining again. You're going to have a handle right here, which is very nice to hang this from a hook if you want to. But if you don't want to hang it from a hook right side up, you can hang it upside down with the included hook that's right here. You guys can see that this just flips out. And this one would actually be really good to hang from like a lanyard on your belt if you want just to have something uh, while you're hiking through the woods, for example. Uh, taking a look on the inside, you guys can see that right here. You have one, two, and three three different sections for these super bright LEDs. Now this does take 4D batteries. They're not included, so just be aware of that. This one is not rechargeable. It does take batteries. But you guys can see there's not a lot to it. It is a very big unit. I would say it weighs roughly about four or five pounds, <laughs> yes. but it's super. Yeah, so I gotta tell you guys a story about that. Um, I told Briley one day, he was over at the house, and he saw it sitting up on a shelf, this this lantern, and he was like, what is this? And I was like, it's a rechargeable, or it's, it's a portable lantern, basically. And <laughs> not portable, all lanterns are portable. And so I, I say, don't press that button and stare right at it. I'm facing away from him, and out of nowhere, um, I see a bright flash in the room, and I turn around, and he's blinking like this, and he's like, I stared right at it. <laughs> He turned it on and was just looking right at it like a moth to a lamp to a, like a light bulb. <laughs> I just see a bright flash. I look back and he's blinking his eyes like this. And he's like, I, I, I did exactly what you told me not to do. 
I'm, I'm telling you guys, it's it's the video doesn't do it justice. It's so bright. Let me let me skip forward real quick. This is you guys two one. Even not looking directly at it, it is super, super bright. You guys can see here that it is lighting up my entire room with ease. Now, you do have multiple brightness settings. I'm serious. This is really bright. So there's a another brightness setting. Continue on. It goes all the way down to this, which you can actually look at the LEDs at this point. And it, honestly, this, uh, this casing around the LED housing unit does a really good job diffusing the light and transferring the light throughout the room. So if you guys have been looking for just a super bright and very durable LED lantern, uh, definitely check out the... Yeah, you, you, once once somebody is told not to do something, it just makes them want to do it even more. So you're probably right. That's probably my fault. Uh, again, uh, everybody, welcome to the stream. Every 10 followers on this stream, we do an Amazon gift card giveaway. So if you guys are new here, hit that follow button. We need eight more followers. Eight more followers to do our first gift card giveaway. Um, oh yeah, I got, by the way guys, I got a new ring. I got a new ring. My finger hasn't turned green yet, so we're alright. Welcome to the stream guys, let's check up on the 3D print. Oh, Evans! It's cooking! It's cooking, Evans! Oh, it says it detected an error. You see how, like, there's, we don't see the time? It says AI recognition has detected an error, but I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty sure it thinks there's errors when there isn't because every time it's popped up, I ha there's, there hasn't been anything wrong. Forty-eight minutes left. Uh, everybody, if you're new, yeah, it looks half done. Or, exactly. Do you, don't you remember printing that live on the stream? I think we actually ended the stream before it finished. We started it at the beginning of the stream and then ended it before it finished and I showed you guys the next stream. This one has just been printing during this stream and it's already almost done. Golly. I mean, it's so fast. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be perfect quality. I didn't see any issues with like layer lines. It just looked smooth. It didn't oh. Now, we'll see at the end of the we'll see at the end. We're printing that cat phone holder, uh, Cool Shopper. That cat phone holder. I went over there and looked at it earlier, and initial impressions, granted the light wasn't on, I couldn't see, like, print lines. I couldn't see that it was printed. So, I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. If you guys need a new lantern, I, I uh, that one takes 4D batteries. Definitely check that one out. But if you guys are new here, first of all, welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment stream. Um, hit that follow button because we need eight more followers and we're going to do a gift card giveaway. So if you're new here, first of all, welcome. Feel free to introduce yourself. Um, Hosue, thank you so much for, is this Hosue, the Hosue I'm thinking of? Is this the Hosue I'm thinking of? The Torque Master? If it's not that Hosue, then I'm sorry to the second Hosue. Oh, it is. It is the Hosue I'm thinking of. This is personal account, I'm assuming. <laughs> this is your personal account? Welcome, Osue. How are you doing? Hey, did you get your did you get your uh, did you get your glide light light bars in? What's up, Bon Bon? Did you get these in? And if so, did you get them set up? And what do you think? Cool, right? Cool. Uh, so we have the next product that we're going to talk about is probably the most interesting product I've ever tested. Uh, we've tested a lot of massagers on this stream. We've tested, you know, like the percussion massagers, massage wraps. Never did I even know, or I never knew until Brio sent me this, that they had whole head massagers in your entire head. That's what this is. It's a an entire head massager. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's wild. It's wild. Hey, what is going on guys? Nathaniel with Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Brio iDream S5 head massager 
You guys heard that right. Now, while I have covered a ton of different massagers, leg massagers, foot massagers, back massagers, really anything you can think of, I've never covered a head massager. So you guys can see right here, this is the entire unit itself. I really like the cream white finish that they have on it with the brown accents and the Brio logo right there on front. If you look at the left side or the right side as you're wearing it, that is gonna be the control panel. And then taking a look on the inside of it, these back little massager heads that you guys can see that I'm pushing on right now, these will actually kind of add pressure to the lower back of your neck, which adds a really nice feature and honestly gets a spot that most people wouldn't think of. On the inside, these are going to inflate and also heat up to add pressure to your eyes. And one of the things that I think is awesome about this is while you're wearing it, people can't see your eyes, but you can clearly see out. It does add a little bit of a tint, but overall you still can see what you're doing. So you could ultimately walk around the house with this. Now taking a look at the front here, you're going to notice that up on top and on the sides, these are going to be more pressure points for compression on top of your head. All right, my friends. So we're going to go ahead and skip forward in this video. Michaela, I was just asking about you earlier. I was asking, hey, hey, you know what? Before we start attacking each other's teams, congratulations. Before we start attacking, I'm going to be, we got to be a real football fan for a second. Congratulations, Michaela. Congratulations to you and the Cowboys. Been a long time. Welcome to the club. Buffalo Buffalo was also in that same exact predicament. I mean, we didn't do... I'm not trying to talk... I'm not talking bad yet. We didn't have as long of a playoff drought, but we still had a long playoff drought. Finally, yeah, I know. Uh, can we talk... What's up with Tom Brady? What was that about? That was bad. That was the worst perform and, and and Dak was on fire. What was that performance in the playoffs? He was off his That's he off his game. That's not even that. That's he gave up his life and wife and children. What's flying around in the air? Where the where, what what was that? What's up, Donald? Welcome to the stream. Prescott finally got his mojo back. Okay, now now we now we can talk bad. Now we can talk bad. If Buffalo... You can talk bad about Buffalo. If Buffalo plays the game that they just played against Miami, against Cincinnati, we're getting molly-whopped. We're getting molly-whopped. Yeah, three in a row. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't miss three in a row. Yeah, I, you know what? I'm gonna be surprised if I see him in the. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be surprised if we see him kicking point afters, or just. Um, yeah, I don't know. If if we see him next week against Philadelphia, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay, so I don't even know who that kicker is. I can't even remember his name. He's that forgettable. Um, has he been kicking for Dallas all season? Oh, Philly and Giants? Wait, who who will Dallas play then? I thought they were playing Philly. Has he been kicking for Dallas all year? Yeah, you can't miss that many. Oh. I'm sorry, Michaela. Oh, whoa. Bye bye, Dallas. I'm sorry. Oof. No. You're not. No. No, I'm sorry. I think I'm picking. Honestly, obviously, I want. Obviously, I want. Buffalo, Buffalo Bills Mafia around here. I want Buffalo to win the Super Bowl, but <laughs> dude, if I had to pick just as a football fan in general, not a Buffalo Bill fan, who's winning the Super Bowl this year? Um It's 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 the 49ers.
All right, so I was just replying. No, it's not the Eagles. No, it's not the Eagles. So for me, the Eagles, okay, let, let, let's be honest. What's up, Wiley? Welcome to the stream. For me, the Eagles are a very good team, but they're not as good as their record makes it out to be. It's, they're not as good as their record seems. It's, it's like the Vikings. You'd put your money on the Eagles over the 49ers that has the best. The, the, the 49ers have the best defense in the league. Nobody's arguing that. They're on an eight. They're on an eight game burner right now where they're just destroying teams. Brock Purdy just doesn't miss. He had like 131 QBR this weekend. 131 QBR in the playoffs. As a bench. He was a bench player. He was under Jimmy G and Trey Lance. He stepped in and look at him. Yeah, okay, but Eagles have come back from worse odds. Yeah, whenever it was LaShawn McCoy and Michael Vick. And Deshaun Jackson. Well, no, no, those don't line up. Yeah, no. <laughs> that was a different Eagles team back then. That was also the best defense back then. But, Michaela, if I'm being honest with you, if I'm being honest with you, Michaela, Dallas isn't beating the 49ers. Dallas isn't beating San Francisco. It's not happening. And I'm going to be honest with myself. If Buffalo plays the way they did on Sunday against Cincinnati, they're not beating Cincinnati. It's just the 49ers are so good. They're so good. And they're slept on. Nobody's talking about them in the light that they should be talked about. They, they were talking about Minnesota. And that's the, that's the comparison that I was making between um, the Eagles and the Vikings. Their record, in my opinion, isn't as good. Their record isn't as good as it makes the team out to be. Like the Vikings, they're the worst team with that record in history. <laughs> so you got beat by you got beat by Daniel Jones. You hate the Vikings? Bud? Okay, Bud's going to be mad at me. He's a Vikings fan. Listen, Justin Jefferson is the best wide receiver in the league. That's why I kind of like the Vikings, because when you watch somebody that's as good at wide receiver as Justin Jefferson, nobody's, as, nobody's like, he is the best wide receiver in the league right now. You heard talk on ESPN that Brady would be a good fit for the Jets. You know what? As a matter of fact, bring him back to the AFC. Bring him back to the AFC East so Buffalo can whip up on him on the Jets, please. I thought you were a Vikings fan, bud. Who am I thinking that's a Vikings fan? That was... I mean... Yeah, no, no, please, yeah, please bring, um, oh, okay, you're a Titans fan. I, I, who am I thinking? There's somebody that was a Vikings fan in the chat. Well, here's the thing, Michaela, even if, let's say Brady, let's say Brady plays another year next year. I don't know if he will. It sounds like he is. Um, let's say he has an even worse year next year. In 20 years, nobody is going to be talking about Tom Brady and saying, do you remember his last two years and he was bad when he was 45 years old? Nobody's going to talk about it like that. They're going to be like, do you remember Tom Brady that made 10 starting quarterback Super Bowl appearances and won seven of them? That's what they're going to talk about. So even though, yes, we all love to hate on Brady. He's the best quarterback that's ever existed, ever. It's not even close. It's not even close. No, in 20 years, nobody's talking about Tom Brady like the guy that did bad 
when he was 45 and 46 or 47 years old. Nobody's talking about it that way. They're going to be like, he won seven Super Bowls. Unpopular statement, Brady must retire. See, a lot of people say that. Like, they say that he, they're ru he's ruining his legacy. His legacy isn't losing in the playoffs. His legacy is winning seven Super Bowls and going to ten of them. He's went to ten Super Bowls and has won 70% of them as the starting quarterback. Granted, he probably wouldn't have one of those under his belt as the starting quarterback if Drew Bledsoe didn't get hurt whenever he first got... Yeah, his legacy is in place. He doesn't... He doesn't have to prove anything, but if he wants to continue playing football, let him play football. It's what he knows. It's all he's done for more than half his life. How old he is, he's played football for more than half his life. Professional football, NFL. He's been in the NFL for half of his life. You We, we can... Okay, listen... I love to hate on Tom Brady as much as the next person. He was in the AFC East kicking Buffalo out of the playoffs every year for 16 years. I love to hate him on it just as much, but we have to we have to call a spade a spade. He's the best quarterback, not even close, of all time. Still don't like him. We can, like, I, there's things he's done that I don't like. Like, he wouldn't shake Nick Foles' hand after he won the Super Bowl. Like, he didn't, like, refuse. He just left. He didn't, like, he didn't shake any players' hands after they lost to the Eagles in 2015, 16. He just left. Like, that's that's not acceptable, but it doesn't change that he's the best quarterback ever. Like, people like to bring up stuff, like, people like Joe Montana and, you know, like, Joe Montana and just Brett Favre and like they're all all-time greats but or Dan Marino people like to bring up those quarterbacks no no those quarterbacks the people that say like if you ask who's the best quarterback of all time if someone says Dan Marino or Joe Montana they're blinded by nostalgia I'm sorry they're blinded by nostalgia they're not they're not that good they were good for the time but the average quarterback today is better than Joe Montana and Dan Marino. Peyton Manning's a G. I mean, he is one. He's top three legitimately of all time. I, I put I put Peyton Manning number three probably. Peyton gets commercials where they make fun of Peyton. Yeah, Peyton's awesome. Uh, it, and it's been a while since the Favre bomb balls day. Yeah. Here's the thing: is like a lot of people keep saying Josh Allen isn't a, a lot of a lot of people keep saying um, Josh Allen isn't like top three quarterbacks in the league because of his interceptions. Would anybody say that Brett Favre is not top five quarterbacks of all time? No. He also had a lot of interceptions. It's about how you finish games, not about like what happens during the game. It's how you can recoup. Now, I'm not saying Josh Allen is better than Brett Favre. He's he's better than Brett Favre. I'm sorry. Rodgers, I feel like Rodgers is like the... Okay, he has a very high career completion percentage. But he is, he's top 10, maybe, maybe. What does he have, one Super Bowl ring in 12 years, 13 years? Maybe even longer, I don't know. How long has it been? No, you're fine, you're fine. We only have a few more products left in the carousel, so I actually had some filler time. Like, and this is going to pain me to say this. Jim Kelly was a good quarterback. Was Jim Kelly the best quarterback during that time period? No. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't at all. Who's the best quarterback in the league right now? There's only one correct answer. Who is the best quarterback in the league right now? Well, they got to the Super Bowl so many times because of the team around them.
because of the team around them. That's how they got there. Thurman Thomas, Ed Reed. Um, like, yeah, it was the team around them. What's up, Joseph? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for following. Amazon customer, thank you so much for following. Well, didn't Gronkowski retire last year? Maybe Brady isn't so great without him. I don't know. I. Well, when Brady went to Tampa Bay that first year, so the 2019-2020 season, I believe, Gronk was there, but he didn't target Gronk the way he targeted Mike Evans. So I, I don't know. I'll tell you why Brady isn't Tom, the Tom Brady we're all used to. He's 45 years old. That's why he's not the Tom Brady we're used to. He's 45. Well, Gronk was retired. Gronk was retired whenever Brady um, was traded to... Oh, no, he wasn't traded. He was a free agent, right? Mahomes. Yeah, it's Mahomes. Let's just be real here. It's Patrick Mahomes. I don't like saying that. He's in the AFC. I don't like his big he helmet. You guys ever notice that? <laughs> Look at him on the field, especially when he, like, scrambles. Watch Patrick Mahomes. He's <laughs> He looks like a little kid that's wearing his dad's helmet. His helmet just looks huge. Gronk has laser focus on US, U, USAA. Is it USSA or USAA? USAA. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, he's, he's, they're doing like a, a new commercial every week with him for some reason. They're probably paying him pretty good too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. The reason Tom Brady isn't the Tom Brady, yeah, that we know and love or not love is because he's 45 years old. This is what it is. It is what it is. That's just the way it goes. Patrick Mahomes is 100% the best quarterback in the league right now. Brock Purdy, for some reason, is also top four. Josh Allen, I think he's the second best quarterback in the league. It's just he needs to be consistent. If Josh Allen played... Okay, do you did you guys watch the divisional round against the Chiefs last year? The Buffalo Bills versus Kansas City Chiefs divisional. It was at Kansas City. If Josh Allen could play like that every game, he is the best quarterback. But Patrick Mahomes is just the most consistent. He's got, what, two MVPs. He's got a ring. Completion percentage. Most he He's almost... He's 250 yards away from breaking the single season passing record. 250 yards away. So that means he has a total of two more games. He has a, he he can he can beat if he can throw 350 yards within three more playoff three more playoff games including the Super Bowl then he 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 can he's going to beat it. He's the best. Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay is where football players' careers come to die before they retire. I mean, I don't think Tom Brady transferring to Tampa Bay, who was a terrible team this, just the season before, and then winning a Super Bowl his first year, means his career was dying. I just think that was his last Tom Brady year. I think that's what that was. I think that was his last Tom Brady year. That's all. That's all I think about that. Um, I don't know who's who's the running back Leonard Fournette hasn't he been in a long time bud can you help me out here hasn't Leonard Fournette been running the ball for a while like 2014 like 7 years is a long time as a running back Seven, eight years is a running backs. I think don't don't quote me on this, but I think running backs on average have the shortest career um, career span or like amount of years played because you're a running back. You get hit the most. You get hit the hardest. Yeah, it's almost guaranteed unless you get a touchdown. You're getting hit as a running back every single time that you get you get a ball handed off to you. 
But with that being said, let's let's uh, wrap up the stream. Evans, can I get a follower check real quick? Um, where are we at? Where are we at? Let me get a follower check. You guys, every 10 followers on this stream, we do an Amazon gift card giveaway. I think right now we might need like six more maybe. Uh, so if you're new here, first of all, welcome. Hit that follow button. It's right down there. If you're on your computer, it's right here somewhere. If you're on your phone, tap the screen. Yeah, we need six more followers. So if six of you follow, we're going to do a gift card giveaway to every, not everybody, but someone in the chat. So kind of uh, staying on massagers, we have the Syncom calf and foot massager. So this massages your thighs, your calf, and your feet all at once. I wouldn't say massage. It's more like compresses, which feels like a massage. Right there, top one is R. Just plug it in just like that. It's in. And now remember, this is your leg. This is the power work. Now they are labeled. Little temperatures, views. You guys can see the ugly legs. We will grab this device, right? Like I said, it's a Velcro strap. So you just undo the Velcro, right? Grab your foot, pull your foot in, and set it in. Now, just go like this, Velcro, wrap, and wrap. Once you're in, that is how it goes, just like that. You plug it back in, you hit, as you guys can see, plug it back in, hit the power button, pick your intensities and your modes, and then it'll start compressing, decompressing. This is really good if for people that are sedentary or are worried about blood clots because it'll get blood flowing through their feet, which is very, very cool. Again, guys, this is from Syncom. This is their air massaging leg compression kit. Uh, thank you for checking out this little video, guys, and have a great day. There you guys go. That is the Syncom foot and calf massager. Now we have the Syncom knee massager that also has heat it compresses your knees so if you guys have achy breaky knees for whatever reason Oscar slaughter or something like that this is what you need james here you ever just have knee pain and you don't know what to do about it you don't want to go to the wrap it around get that one first then did you guys take the one no, we didn't, and I'm not. I'm not happy about it. Okay. No, we didn't. Ah, oh, I just. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, okay. So the the wheelbase on this chair is metal, and I tried to move, and the back of my heel just kicked the very corner of that wheelbase on the metal, like right on the heel. I'm trying to act like it doesn't hurt. Ah, that hurts so bad. Whoa! 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 It's shooting pain up my leg. <laughs> uh, we, we, got, we got a little bit of a viewer jump there. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the stream. If you're new here, hit that follow button. Um, if you guys want a chance to win a gift card, that is. Hit the follow button. Every 10 followers on this stream, we do a gift card giveaway. Uh, right now, we need six more followers. We've hit four during this stream. We need six more, and we're, we're going to do our gift card giveaway. So uh, if you want a chance to win, hit that follow button. Then you're going to go get signed up at dragonblogger.com forward slash enter live. And I'm pretty sure on cue, Evans will drop a little link in the chat so you guys can go get entered. Right now, we're looking at some knee compression braces. Pull this down around the knee and strap it around your leg. As you guys can see, it fits mine well. We're just gonna do one. We're gonna grab the plug right here, right? Plug it in. We're gonna hit power. Power instantly comes on, as you guys can see, which is cool. It's actually facing you, and I actually like that. So now it's going, it's actually airing up. Kinda cool. So we're going to click the intensity up to the next level. We're going to go max intensity. We're going to turn the heat on to high too. And we're going to let it go. It's actually kind of cool that I can actually feel that. And it feels like a you know, blood pressure cuff pumping up. 
then stopping, going, stopping, going, deflating, up and down. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna jump up the intensity. We're gonna go max intensity on this. We're gonna go. So there you guys have it. So they wrap around your knees, they use heat and compression technology to alleviate some pain that you might have. Uh, so the next product in the carousel, uh, Lane Marcellus, thank you so much for following, wait, did I say that right? Lane, welcome to the stream. I'm not going to mispronounce your last name. I've been doing that this entire stream with everybody's last name, basically. Welcome to the stream. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, we need five more followers, my friends. Five more followers. If you want a chance to win a gift card, just hit that follow button. Just need five more. Five more. Let's check up on our 3D print. You can see right there in the background, we've got some crazy stuff going on. Uh, we're 3D printing a cat phone holder, and I'm not even going to say what else it has on it, okay? All right. Let's let's take a look. Oh, Evans. Evans, look at that. We're about donezo. We're about donezo. That is so fast. This is pr this printed in one stream. That is crazy cool. Crazy crazy cool. I don't know why I keep saying Evans like is the only person uh, if you guys need a pickleball set, I don't know if you guys have ever played. I know it's it's so fast. Think oh whoa 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 whoa. Think about all of the um, all of the like things we can print on stream and potentially give away. What's up, friends? Nate Dragon. We what we need to do what we need to do everybody is do another. We need to do another poll. In the in our Discord group, you guys vote on the next 3D print. That's what we need to do. Our tech and entertainment back again today with yet another video. We're going to be taking a look at have your paddles right here. So somebody's actually going to end up having to teach me how to play this. But right off of the rip, if we take a look at the paddles, oh, are we live on Twitch now? We are live on Twitch. Lori Lynn. Well, Lori, you never talk about my 3D prints. You're never like, wow, Nate, you're the best 3D printer ever. You're the best 3D printer. -er. You're you're the best 3D printy. No. You're the you're the best 3D printer. -er. Printer. -er. Sorry it took so long for me to comment. I'm watching this from work. What did you miss? Um we just kept talking about football. I gave my top 5 quarterbacks in the league right now. Right now. Here's my top 5 quarterbacks in the league right now. Right this second, in 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 this order, best 3D print dude. Hey, that's done. <laughs> the 3D print is done, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go see. How long did that take? Let's grab that real quick. Um, let, I'm gonna finish this video while I'm getting this. That's what I'm saying. Like that that was an eight hour print or it, it was like a, a, a six or seven hour print, eight hours maybe, on the Anycubic Cobra. You do remember Fido. Oh, rest in peace, Fido. Let's finish these uh, pickleball sets while I'm grabbing that print. As you guys can see, that actually looks really cool. It says, handy dan hand drawn doodles sport. So this actually, I, I really like this. You have a little plastic cover that you can take off. And then you're going to have your second paddle right here, which shares the same design as the first one. Let's see if there's anything else on the inside. And it doesn't look like it. So I'm going to end up having to Google how to play pickleball and then creating another video for you guys so you guys can actually see this thing in action. Now, right off rip, even though I don't really know much about pickleball and I haven't played it like I've said multiple times in this video, I do want to speak on the quality of everything. Nothing feels cheap or gimmicky. The paddles themselves feel really heavy. They felt well made. So I think if you guys do know what pickleball is or you guys have been looking to get into it, this one might be a really good set for that. I was trying to kind of gather up all of these uh, these sets right here and it wasn't really working out. So we're going to go ahead and end the video on that note. But like I said, if you guys are looking for a new pickleball set, I think you guys might really enjoy this one. So there you guys have it. If you are into um, pickleball, that's what you need to check out. I just realized I didn't have it. 
so here's the finished product. We do have a little bit of stringing right here. So, or we have a little bit of a weird thing right here. Um, so funky stringiness, awesome mom. So the reason he's having stringiness is because if it's transitioning from one far location to the other, so like say this, let's say like this is a 3D print. There's a part that's sticking up here and there's a part on the print that's sticking up here. If it has to go from here to here, what he needs to do in Cura is he needs to have a, a faster and longer retraction. So retraction is whenever that print is moving from one spot to the other, obviously that filament is going to be trying to droop out. A retraction pulls it back just a little bit. He, he needs to adjust his retraction settings more than likely. Uh, here is the finished product. I'd say, so here's the reason I, let me, let me start this out real quick. Before I show you guys this, the reason why I print at 50 millimeters a second on the any cubic Cobra, even though, even though right here, it can print at 80 millimeters a second is because I've noticed at higher print speeds, the quality isn't as good. So what I'm about to show you guys what I'm about to show you guys, this is at 250 millimeters a second, and this is only my third print. Uh, so basically out of the box without really doing anything, this is a really good quality 3D print. This is really good. Now, like, yes, we have some weird stuff going on over here on the ears right here. If you guys look right there on this ear, we have some weird, like, but all of this stuff can get kind of like, you can clean that up if you want to. But overall, basically out of the box, that is a, I mean, look at the layer lines here. You almost can't see them. You almost can't see them. So now what this is, if you guys didn't know, like, what are you even 3D printing? This is a phone holder. <laughs> I'll show you guys the back. I, I didn't know. Oh, Lane, what's up, man? I just realized that, uh, okay, what's up, Lane? I forgot that your name was Lane. I, I keep wanting, I can't even say your name on Amazon live stream from Discord, but uh, I didn't know when I 3D printed this that that was there. The first one I printed <laughs> didn't have that, but that's not bad. That really isn't bad for pretty much out of the box. There are some things I don't like, like those little lines right there. All of that, this will clean itself up or the printer will have better prints as I get used to the printer and figuring out, you know, um, the settings and stuff like that. That's not bad though. Cat knots. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it works. I think this one's lighter than yours is Evans. I don't think I did the infill as much, so it's a little bit lighter, but it would still work just, just fine. Uh, out of the box, the anchor make that's, th that's a really good print. That's a really good print. Boom. And it took two hours and five minutes as opposed to seven hours on the Anycubic Cobra. So, I mean, it's not on Amazon, but I think the proof is in the pudding. Yes, this is a premium priced printer. The Anycubic Cobra is premium priced, but it is a premium printer. So I think out of the box, the Anycubic, or not the Anycubic Cobra, the Anchor Make M5 is, is perfect. I think it's a perfect printer. Uh, there are some things I can adjust. There are some things that I can do to make it better. We'll figure it out though. We have three more products and we're just gonna run through those real quick. We have the Nivir Queen Mattress. So this is a bed in a box or bed in a bag. I don't know if you guys have ever ordered one like this. That is totally awesome. It printed that fast. Let's, before we open this, let's see if it created that time lapse. Let's see if that time lapse is there yet. It is. The time lapse is already there. Okay, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm gonna let it download so I can so I can import it to my uh, gallery and then show you guys. It already created the time lapse of it. I should have had that light on it the whole time because better lighting means better time lapses. That is so cool. This is so cool, my friends. Look at this. Hold on. 
All right, here we go. Let me let me start it from the beginning. One more time, just because it's that cool. <laughs> I mean, it, it's Anchor. And you know what's crazy? This is their first 3D printer and it's that good. And it, it just released. Like, people only started getting this a few weeks ago. Unless you were, like, early Kickstarter or, like, you had 10 billion bajillion subscribers on uh, on YouTube. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know. With firmware updates and software updates and, you know, parts and stuff like that, this printer's only going to get better. That's the thing. It's only going to get better. It's not on Amazon. What's up, Tech Light Brothers? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Oh, I see the blue check mark. I see the blue check mark. What's up, my friend? I don't know, man. It's Anchor. I mean, you got to think about this. Say you're a company that's never designed any, like you've never designed a specific thing in your life. Like one, what, what I'm trying to get, Anchor's never made a 3D printer. This is their first 3D printer. We got the Anycubic Cobra right there. Anycubic's Ben make, that's the only thing they make is 3D printers, basically. That's the only thing they make. And then if I switch back over here, if I rotate my camera back this way, this is the Ender 3 Max. It's not even as good as the Anchor make. It's not, it's nowhere near as good. And Ender, which is who made that printer that you're looking at, that's all they make is 3D printers. That's all they make. So their very first 3D printer, they're not a 3D printer company. It's better than a company that only makes 3D printers. I've told you guys this over and over again. Anchor makes better stuff than companies that specialize in said stuff. Like we've gotta be, we've gotta be, we've, we've got to, we, we gotta pay respect where it's due. They only make 3D printers. This company and this company. And the Anchor Make is better. Put some respect on Anchor's name. It just doesn't make any sense. Trying to start affiliate marketing. Can I set up from here? Joey, what do you mean? It just doesn't make sense. You know what I mean? Like, picture you... I don't know. I can't explain it. Picture you go and buy a Ford truck. You go and buy a Ford vehicle and it breaks down and you bring it to Chevy and they fix it better than Ford did or something like, I don't know. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Why are they making better stuff when it's the first time they've ever made it? Maybe it's the budget. Maybe it's the research behind it. I mean, Anchor is a bigger company than Ender or Creality. Creality is who makes that. That's the Creality Ender 3 Max. Anchor's obviously a bigger company. Maybe they have more money for engineers. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you were to tell me right now, make a 3D printer, even though you've never made a 3D printer, <laughs> would you guys buy a Dragon Blogger, the Dragon Blogger Nate M10 3D printer? <laughs> yes, yeah, you know, you wouldn't. Exactly, you wouldn't. All right, now let's actually look at this. Let's look at this queen size mattress. Put an F in the chat right now if you've ever. Um, if you ever purchased a mattress in a box or like a bag, like the, the mattresses that get delivered to your home and you have to like open them up because the, the boxes on these things are deceivingly heavy because it's a whole mattress like compressed down to nothing. James here. And today I'm taking a look at the Navy Air queen size hours before you start using it because you need to let it come back to form. Now, with that being said, it's a nice thickness. You have all the layers that you really want. Of course, my shadow shadowing over, but a nice like uh, fabric uh, top with a very nice pattern. Now, once you have it out, this bed's been out about 30 so hours or so, so almost about 40 hours, so it's just perfect. Now, of course, let me see something real quick. Funny, I just randomly checked a neck fan out, decided to check your account out, and what the heck, I've never had this happen where I have no volume and just keeps buffering. 
Just kind of thought it was funny since it's a tech type channel, which I've never checked any out. Oh yeah. Like Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment and it's just like all laggy and stuff. <laughs> Uh, you bought one from Costco? Well, I didn't even know. Oh, I can't say stuff like that out loud. I just got, you know what? Hit squad's coming. Uh, you're planning to after tax return? Smart, smart. You might want to check out purple. I'm going to be honest. Purple is, I've done three bed beds in a box, bed in a box or bed in a bag or whatever. Purple was just so good. It was just too firm. So when I met my wife, how did that even happen? I had the purple mattress like a year before I met my wife and then within four months of meeting her, not even being married, just her being new to my life, it was gone. <laughs> what the heck is that? Which is cool. I like that. Good addition to this. Then you have all the separate layers. Of course, guys, if I... By time this is ready to be made tonight, it's going to have been out. Do you know the price on the Anchor Make? Hold on one second. I'm sure I do. Out over 48 sure hours easily, so it's going to be nice and good. If you guys are looking for a bed in a bag, maybe the Navy Air 12-inch memory foam topper is the one for you. Okay, so if you go, it's it's officially released. If you go buy it on the Anchor Make website, it's seven ninety nine. If you go support it, if you go support it on Kickstarter, so just look up Anchor Make Kickstarter, you'll get you'll get it for five ninety nine. But there, but listen, if you're going to buy it, there's only two left at the five ninety nine price on Kickstarter. There's only, it says there's only two out of 2,000 left. Now you can spend 629 and get even more stuff. Or if you want to, if you want to, listen. Hey, Michaela, thank you for stopping by. If you want to, you can go, you can go spend $2,799 and you'll get five anchor. I'm not kidding. This is a package on the Kickstarter. You'll get five anchor makes, five toolboxes, and 550, 150 gram spools of filament. <laughs> it looks like the cheapest way to get it, the cheapest way that there was to get it was at 429. Yeah. So but if you want it, the cheapest way to get it right this second is $5.99. There's only two left. Uh, and then $30 more at $6.29, there's $319 left. So either way, get it from Kickstarter. Buy it on Kickstarter. Don't buy it on their website right now. As long as these Kickstarter backer things are, you know, still, then you need to do that. Yeah, that's the cheapest way to get it. Does this come in King? Moi, let me see real quick. Uh, it does. The King is 352 compared to 309. Sorry, I just got on. What's the deal with this mat mattress? Something special. Kickstarter is closed. You tried. I mean, I'm still here. It says pledge 599. Oh, it is closed. You can't, there's no way to add it to the cart or anything like that. You can't do that. The funding period on Kickstarter closed on, no, that's not right. Yeah, you can't. Click on it. Yeah, you can't click on a, uh, you can't click on like a, a, a package on Kickstarter. So, bud, to, in a very long way to answer your question, seven ninety nine. That's rough because at one point, if you were an early, early, early kickstart, 
backer or like anchor make M5 backer, you could have got it, you could have got it for 429. Yeah, you have to go through the actual anchor make site. Yep. Bummer. Oof. Do I think it's it, do I think it's worth it at 799? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Especially being that this is like brand new, fresh on the market. Uh, it only gets better, especially when like they start, you know, releasing upgrade parts or they start doing more software and firmware updates and uh, other companies start making accessories for them. I think it only gets better from here. I think it only gets better. Uh, we have two products left and two more followers needed to do a gift card giveaway. So if you're new here, hit the follow button. Make sure you get signed up at the website too. Otherwise, if we hit two more followers and I draw, if you didn't get signed up, your name will not pop up for that giveaway. So this is the Pet Libro Automatic Dog Feeder or Cat Feeder. What do we think, Bean? That's pretty nifty. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is really good if you are someone who works a lot and travels a lot and you need something to help take care of your cat, maybe while you're away. Or if you have a cat like ours who just screams in the morning before she gets her food, this might help you be able to sleep in a little bit later. So like he said, you can actually program it to dispense food at a certain time of day. You can also use it if your cat is maybe overweight and you're trying to monitor how much food they're intaking. This is a good way to do that. All of my cats are like, this is so cool. It comes with a quick guide uh, for you to set it up mm. in four steps. Um, but then, and there's uh, you know, instructions on all the different dials and buttons and levers and knobs. Um, but then, of course, there's the full user guide that can show you exactly how to set up, you know, varying amounts of food for every time it dispenses and at what time it dispenses and how often it dispenses food. So you can have up to six meals a day for your your little kitty yeah this is perfect for any cat owner honestly there are many different reasons that you could get an automated feeder like i said for weight control or if your animal eats at a very specific time of day like our animals eat at 7 p.m so there you guys have it so what you can do with this is set it up on a timer you can set it up on a timer to automatically feed your cats or your dogs throughout the day you can set up schedules so you could set it up like feed a cup at feed a cup of food at 8 a.m feed another cup at noon feed another cup at 6 p.m uh, which is really cool and from what i saw the quality of components which you talked about yeah it's it's crazy crazy good it has a sleek look it's super fast for me it's tough because that printer has features that I, i've never had on any printer so the camera is really cool Granted, the camera doesn't look that great. You can get better time lapses um, on, like, even this printer right here. But you have to... All right, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Bye-bye, Lucas. So you, you have to... Um... You have to do crazy stuff to get better time lapses. The, it, it is awesome that it's already built in. One of my favorite things, and I feel like it's something that we kind of overlook a little bit, is the fact that it doesn't matter where I'm at in the world. Let me clean my screen real quick. It doesn't matter where I'm at in the entire world, my friends. Check this out. I'm on Wi-Fi right now. And my that anchor, you can see that that anchor um, is obviously connected to Wi-Fi too because we started the print from my computer that I'm sitting at right now. I'm going to disconnect from Wi-Fi, so I'm not connected to the same network. I can go to me, or I can go to device, hit the camera button. You are using your phone's data. Do you want to continue? Yes. Now, from anywhere in the world, I can look at, the, I can look at it. I can look and see what's going on with my print. What's really cool about that is I can hit record. I can take screenshots. But there's a there's a feature in the app, and I, I everyone that's listening to me right now, and actually like you guys can hear me. What do you think this is gonna be? I want you guys to tell me what you think this is gonna be because there's a there's a section in the app right here. So there's me where I can adjust some settings. There's devices where I can look at the printer and all of its like details. 
But down here, there's an explorer feature. Oh, I locked the screen. Down here, there's an explorer feature, and it says, coming soon, this page is under development. What do you think explore is going to be? Does that mean I'm going to be able to, like, explore different 3D printing files and then start it from wherever I'm at? Like, I don't have to be home. This just has to be on, and then I can start a print from here? What's up, Ed? Welcome to the stream. I think Explorer is going to let me look at different 3D prints and then send it to the printer when I'm not home. That's, if that is if that does end up being what that is, I'm going to that's going to be cool. I don't know. That's what I think. I haven't looked into it. I'm sure people like it's it's known what it's going to be. That's what I'm excited for. All right, we have one final product. Evans, do your thing. We need two more followers, my friends. Two more. Or explore different products and attachments. Yeah, okay, like upgrades or something like that. Yeah, that could be it. Maybe like upgrades for it. Or maybe explore is going to be a bunch of stuff. Maybe it's going to be like a social media thing where you can see other people's 3D prints. Where you can choose 3D prints sent there. You can shop for filament. You can shop for you know, anchor attachments and stuff like that. I I think it's great that I get to watch 3D printing here and engraving with Rome. And then I get Pokemon with Alex. Yeah, all hobby stuff. I've done some laser engraving, but if that's like his thing, then that's his thing. Uh, we've done some pretty cool laser engravers, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's a bit tricky. It I'm not going to say 3D printing is easier because I've been doing it for a while now and I understand it, you know, for the most part. But engraving is a, a whole different beast. For me, laser engraving, it was always hard to get whatever I'm going to engrave on, say it's like a wooden coaster. It was hard for me to get that lined up in the engraving area to where the laser would engrave in the spot, like get it set up and adjusted in print i can't explain it that's that was the hardest part for me so here's the final product this is the uh pet libro uh upgraded cat water fountain so this is going to not only filter the water um but keep them it has a little fountain so it's filtering the water while also being a fountain which is kind of cool and last product then your product is ready to use the first impressions I get from this product so far is the design. It has a humanized design. With, it has a lot of ergonomic design that makes it easy to open the water tray and the filter tray for refueling and filter replacement. All the parts are easy to assemble and can be disassembled for cleaning and replacement within matters of seconds. Another thing that I'm impressed is the filtration system. It has activated carbon that removes bad taste and odor. It also has ion exchange resin could soften the tap water and then it also has the medical stone removes heavy metals and release trace element. Last but not least, non-woven fabric could filter hair and impurities that provide clean water and healthy to the pets. The product also encouraged the pets to drink more water. Because of the purple fountain and the free falling stream, it can meet the need of different pets and it will increase the fun and the experience for the pet to drink water. And now we're ready, let's check it out. Last but not least, this product runs absolutely in silent. On top of that, it also So there you guys have it. That is the uh, Pet Libro water fountain. Pairs really nice with that Pet Libro automatic cat feeder or dog feeder or dog waterer. Uh, that's it for the stream today, guys. That is gonna be it. Uh, so I'm gonna hop off here. I'm gonna go get a circular saw. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm going to go get a circular saw. I'm going to go buy one so I can do more saw stuff, you know? And so then, so Dragon Blog or Briley can't tell me that I don't have uh, power tools. I'm just going to get power tools that, like, the most specific person will use. That nobody will ever, you know, that only specialists use. That I, that I will literally never, ever have a chance to use. Just so Dragon Blogger Bradley can't make fun of me anymore. I'm going to get the most specific power tool I can find. And be like, yeah, dude, I use it all the time. It's like brand new in the box. I use it all the time. I, I tape it back up every day. I want it to stay, you know, well kept. <laughs> That's it for the stream, though, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. We uh, 
good stream. A lot, of, a lot of awesome products today. We printed the cat phone holder right here. Uh, came out pretty good. I'm not happy. As a 3D printer enthusiast, I mean, first layer is pretty good. We had that weird hiccup right there, whatever that is. It came out good, but this isn't my... This isn't my... Uh, I'm not happy with this overall. It looks good, but as somebody that 3D prints... Let me cover his, uh, his balls there. As someone who 3D prints, I'm not happy with everything about this. You guys have a great rest of your day. See you guys tomorrow, 1230 Central. Don't forget, uh, I am also streaming for Shocks tomorrow evening, which will be after the Dragon Blogger stream. Uh, so make sure you guys are hitting that follow button so I can let you guys know tomorrow what time Shock starts. Uh, with that being said, uh, appreciate it. You guys are the best. Love you. Don't forget to be weird. And also, one last thing. Do not forget to go raid Everybody in the chat right now, go raid the link I just shared. Go to Shopping Dragons. Every single one of you go raid Shopping Dragons. Peace out, guys. But I set fire to the stream and watch you burn. You guys still can hear me. I don't have outro music, so I am singing during the, the end of stream. I don't have outro music, so I must sing so you guys can see.